Welcome to the Trail Chasers Podcast. This episode is presented by Nexon Tire. If you want to increase the performance of your rig, both on and off-road, go to NexonTireUSA.com and get a set of Rodian MTXs. And this show is also brought to you by Icon Vehicle Dynamics. You've heard us talk about how much we love the people and products from Icon. Well, we are very proud to announce that as of now, Icon has just joined the Trail Chaser family as the newest presenting sponsor of the show. Awesome. Today on the show, we talked to Danny with Syndicate Off-Road. He tells us about their plans to jump into the overland trailer industry. We also talked to Jeremy and Tyler with Icon. I couldn't be more excited to be a part of Team Icon. Guys, what are the odds of my surviving King of the Hammers? I mean, for real. <laughs> I already said I'm getting buried on top of you. You're not leaving me that easy. <laughs> Make sure you both are stacked up nice and even <laughs> on back door. <laughs> guys we've got danny from uh, syndicate off-road you know him from all of the syndicate stuff that they're doing on social media and their website and their company and all that stuff and he's here to talk to us tonight about some cool interesting exciting information how you doing tonight man <laughs> i'm good man how are you guys good good I, and, and i and i say that because i got the uh i think i got an insider's look as, at what's going on this afternoon and i'm really excited about it so uh you know for those of you who don't know you can go to syndicate off-road on instagram find all their stuff they do what, what matt's looking at me why don't i get some insiders looks because you weren't in the area i was i happened to be in the area did you call me actually i've i had a, so <laughs> no uh, he didn't call you. i didn't he call anybody yeah, yeah. He did not call you no a couple you. about a month a month or two ago me and uh one of the oh, our, show, uh, right. our friends uh, oh Joe. hey 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 that yeah that was back in the day i remember seeing you guys yeah <laughs> yeah that's right i was like what are they doing up there with this trailer <laughs> you're, you're lucky you're lucky you didn't say anything because we had a hitman on you the whole time like, you say something? i don't know oh uh, that's funny yeah that's i funny. saw this weird car part in front of my house like for the past month but yeah, now that, i know why yeah, that was letty's boyfriend <laughs> um, so so Dang. so danny so since you since the cat is someone out of the bag talk to me about what syndicate's doing so uh, um okay so uh in later episodes that we've like we've done with you guys in the past, where we basically us being parts vendors and this and that, and it kind of got to the point where it was pretty repetitive, pretty redundant, and it just wasn't really fulfilling for us anymore as like a business. We're like, okay, this is great, this is fun, but there's not a lot of money in parts <laughs> if you're not manufacturers for them. Yeah, you know, yeah, all the money's in the labor, and you know, so basically we want to do something different. We wanted to be manufacturers. We want to build something with our hands from the ground up. So. We actually teamed up with a couple of new partners that um, we'll, we'll probably end up introducing later on down the line. But um, basically, we decided to make Overland trailers from Sweet. scratch. Awesome. All to like 100% from the ground up, uh, completely like 100% full-blown manufacturers, because that's something that we really wanted to do from the beginning. We wanted that we all, we've always told ourselves we wanted to have full control with whatever we, we, we kind of venture into. Mm -hmm. So it's great because we have a big enough facility to where we can grow and accommodate, you know, basically the public's needs. So something that sets us apart from other overland trailer manufacturers is we can literally do anything in house. So whether it's custom, whether you want a shell built, whether it's a full blown turnkey uh, overland trailer, we can do it all. And that's kind of nice because it, it just, it, I like being able to say, hey, we can do something to your liking within your budget, this and that, and, and just kind of, you know, literally work with the customer and give them exactly what they want from start to finish. Yeah. And, so and it was, oh, yeah. So, sorry to cut you off. I, so I was, I was at the shop today and you took me over to the other side of the shop and I got to see 
one of them that is pretty much built, I'd say 95% built, and one that was 50% built. And uh, Danny kind of walked me through the different components and the different parts and uh, just the uh, the customization that you guys were talking about as far as the options and where you're gonna, what you were going to do in the barn door and the pantry and how you wanted to lay this out and what options there were for wiring and voltage. I thought that was a really, really compelling argument for uh, you know why you would want to go with Syndicate for some of this stuff is because, to your point, you're building it in-house and... Um, they were really stout, man. I'm not sure who it is that's actually putting hands on tools on these things, but I was impressed with the build quality while I was there looking at them. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. I mean, um, you know, it, it's myself and we have, you know, three other partners that just kind of do everything. So this, this trailer that's actually coming to market is going to kind of be our basic starter model and it's going to be retailed around 15 to eighteen thousand dollars and we do have our own finance company and all that good stuff but it's kind of like the base model because it just depends on what you want added onto the trailer you know but if you just want skin and bare bones then we're talking you know a fraction of that price so that that's what's nice about being able to work with different different people's budgets different people's needs and wants and just you know just kind of trying to make the customer happy no matter what but you know i uh it's been fun because this one I've been doing all the research and development on and being our second overland build. Holy crap. Like I am so stressed out because I have to get this trailer and the other one completely prepped and ready for hammers. And a lot of our sponsors want us to be out there and we're going to have this big syndicate camp and all this good stuff. I know you guys are going to be out there too. So it's yeah. just, uh, it's, it's crunch time, you know? <laughs> yeah. It, and it's crazy how that, like I spent uh, a good portion while well, we spent, all day Sunday working on a project. Uh, and then I spent a portion no. of the day. <laughs> I would get so. <laughs> nah. You know what? I mean, the, the cat being out of the bag. No, like, when we worked on, on my truck, that was an entire day. Thing. Yeah, yeah. And on Sunday, this was kind of like a... It was a union job, you know? (laughs) Yeah, well, you you showed up late. Exactly. Like a typical union guy. (laughs) Yeah, but my my point was that, you know, you're like, oh, Hammers is coming up, Hammers is coming up, and then Mm -hmm. it's like, oh, it's Christmas, and Hammers is coming up, Yeah. and the next thing you're like, oh, crap, I have seven days. I have seven days to get all this stuff done. And it's funny because that's how it always goes. It's like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm like a a major procrastinator. I work great under pressure, (laughs) so it's like, Okay, we got two days. We got to do a lot of yeah. ton a ton of work. Let's get it done. You know, not me. Uh, in case my boss is uh, <laughs> listening, <laughs> I I plan ahead and I I work hard. Always. I'm weeks yeah, out you, of my job. You plan ahead by thirty seconds. Like that's <laughs> as far ahead as you're thinking. Um, <laughs> shut up, Cody. Uh, <laughs> so so Danny, the uh, uh, again. So I got to see the trailers and a couple of the different configurations. And um, where did the where did the idea for these designs come from? I mean, what what uh, I mean, you guys are heavily involved in the Overland community, but what was it that you were like, oh, we can do this, and this is how we're going to do it? What, where what was the spark for that? Honestly, um, we did a little bit of research in like the Overland community, looked at some competitors, and we just kind of uh, honestly. I don't know. I mean, we, we want to do something different. We, we don't want to do what everybody else does. So we just kind of came up with this concept, created the shell, and just kind of just learned. Like that, that first trailer that I showed you that's almost 100% complete, that was completely like last minute. Like we're just going to do this, and we're going to throw this on there, and we're going to slap that on there, and then we're just going to test it. Like the first, the very first trailer that we did, and it was funny because Jose saw us that day on Cleghorn, we actually flipped the trailer. Like we, oh. were hauling, we, we were, dude, we were hauling butt down Claghorn and, uh, sir, it was towed by Sergio's Jeep JK. And we just went like maybe 30 miles an hour down this slight section where it's some, like some really crazy, uh, rivets, you know, like these little, mm-hmm. um, anyway, so the trailer completely tipped over and we're like, Oh, this is awesome. We've been trying to do this all day. And we finally <laughs> got to do that. <laughs> all it took was a little more throttle. That's yeah. all. So now, yeah, now, you, yeah. now you, now you know, oh, yeah. 45 miles an hour at a 90 degree turn. That's the limit. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, and we, we made this big production, like this really nice edited video about it. And, I made sure to say, uh, definitely, if you're a consumer, do not attempt these speeds. <laughs> <laughs> we had to throw that disclaimer in there, but it, it was cool. You know, it was, it was a lot of learning, you know, a lot of testing, 
a lot of like figuring out the suspension for being a straight, a simple 3,500 pound straight axle. So, uh, we're looking into independent suspension. We're looking into all these different options and we want to test them before we actually bring them to market because we're brand new at this, you know, so we want to test, test, test to make sure we're, we basically give you that, that stamp of approval saying, okay, we would, we would do this and we would bring this out on our adventures mm-hmm. instead of just kind of getting thrown into the mix, yeah. you know? So the second trailer was, uh, basically built based off of a lot of the flaws from the first one because we brought it out to Calico with our Jeep club. We did a couple, um, overnight trips in Big Bear and just to test the storage capabilities, how comfortable it was and this and that. And we learned a lot. So this next trailer is going to have a ton of different storage options and just so many more things that we're going to, you know, slowly introduce. But the, the cool thing is on our Facebook page, we actually created a, facebook page it's called overland trailers usa and we just reached a little over seventeen thousand followers on that facebook page alone Dang. but that wow that page itself has a ton of videos that you can go on and check out and it shows exactly what we're doing uh what what we're building like all, and it also has a couple other added things in there that i'm not going to disclose on this episode but yeah so like if, if air conditioning chance, overland <laughs> Overland USA on Facebook. I mean, we're doing a, we're moving like a million miles an hour this year, so it's it's a lot of learning and it's a lot of stress. And we're honestly, I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. I, so. I think we need to hire you guys to work, run our Facebook page because it's been out since Dude. 2014, and we have, <laughs> we have 360 <laughs> followers, and we, and we know every single one of them. Yeah. Like 360, <laughs> we're related to most of them. N- nobody even cares. It's like, yeah, we already know about your stuff. That's funny. Um, I love I love that, though. I love that you guys are building a trailer, romping it, wrecking it. Okay, that didn't work. Let's do something different. I mean, that goes back to what you were saying about putting your stamp of approval on it. I mean, you guys are users. You're, you're users of these things. You guys, you know, go out and hit the trail. You're not making this to, to cruise yeah. around. A, yeah, you're 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 bombing on it. That's awesome. Um, so what's the uh, what's the timeline? Like, I mean, are these already? I know they're already in production because I saw them. But I mean, are you taking orders on them? What's that look like? Um, as of right now, we do have a couple people that are interested, but we're still working with them on payments and stuff like that. But, uh, we really didn't want to start taking orders and getting that in depth with that kind of stuff because we're still in the testing phase. Like we're still building these things and and just testing it, it in different environments and all that good stuff. So once this second trailer is built, uh, it's going to be our display model basically. Yeah. And uh, a couple of our partners, we're going to be rolling out a lot of content for them with uh, Front Runner Outfitters and APS Off Road. So we're going to do a lot of content for them, and then just from there, our plan is to just full blown market the crap out of these things until we start getting people that want to buy. Because that, that's kind of why we went so hard with our Facebook and our marketing on that end because of that platform. It's just a lot easier to make a sale or get people interested and all that good stuff. So that's kind of the plan right now. So, but as far as all of our other sales, mainly it's toy haulers. Like we're building, we have a ton of orders right now for toy haulers that we're going to be knocking out in the next month and a half. So it's kind of tough because we're trying to run our, our vehicle vinyl shop and we're trying to build these enclosed toy haulers for a bunch of different customers and then dip in and do as much as we can on the overland trailer. So it's like, you know, we're jumping over here and we're jumping over there and it's just, you know, it's, it's so busy. But like I said, we got a great team and we're just, you know, trying to take every day, uh, you know, with as much force as we can, just so we can try and get all these orders out so we can focus more on, you know, building our brand up. Okay. So I have a question regarding financing. What if I sure. came out there and I just brought my own tools, like a couple of bags of tools, <laughs> and I helped. And I was like, dude, I got this, guys. I'll do some welding on my trailer. You know, 
So you don't have to worry about quality because I'll be doing it myself. And I'll not, know I'll know if the drawers don't work or whatever. Well, that's they're my not bad. They're not running a maker space where you can go and tinker and do your own thing. But it does sound like they're busy enough to hire three. It sounds yeah, like they need like they need, eight full time like they they need three dudes that know how to dude. use sheet metal tools and, and and wrenches, and we can do that. Come to think of it, it sounds like you should probably charge me more to do that. <laughs> so I take it back. Oh yeah, I mean me, me and Cody, we already talked about it you guys get the trail chaser discount and that's double the retail <laughs> nice yeah we deserve that one care. it's because it's because we care about you. yeah <laughs> I, we deserve that i'm sure but, but ours are special yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our, ours come with rubber padding on the inside because we're all insane <laughs> and three yes. straight jackets yeah the little the little yellow uh yellow hazard lights on top uh-huh <laughs> oh yeah see yeah. he knows he well knows. i mean i mean you know when when cody and i were talking when he was at the shop he, you know he was saying hey you know can can you guys just for guys that actually know how to turn a wrench and want to do all of the interiors and the customization themselves, can you do that? Absolutely. If anything, that's less of a headache for us because we build the shell, we insulate it, we skin it for you guys so it looks it looks nice and it's ready to go, and then you're paying a fraction of the cost. Yeah. And then and then when the can, inside can, looks all shitty, that's on us. Yeah, we know. But, <laughs> but I, so so what I was looking I was looking at the the one that was uh, in, in mid fab. You could tell once the outside was all done, the frame and all that stuff is ready to go. Um, like the inside was basically plywood. I, I'm it, assuming it's built to be modular, so you can add or or not add whatever you want in in the inside, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. He, they had a bunch of different options, yeah. but I was thinking like, you know, maybe someone, I would love to build an overland trailer, right? But I just, I don't have the time, the tools and the ability to create it. But if I was able to. Sounds like it's like a a pipe dream. It is. I don't have the ability, the I, skills, the I money, am the too time. stupid to do it. <laughs> but if, if I could buy a shell like that, that I, the, uh, from a company that I trusted and I could configure the inside the way I wanted it to be, you know, just kind of like custom. It doesn't have to be, you know, I just thought that might be a good idea that I'm sure there are people out there that would, li- that would like the opportunity to do that. See, look, I am not good at, uh, like if I had to design it on my own, probably it won't come out but i'm good at following directions so like <laughs> so if you set out like the kit for me and had like a set of instructions i'll i'll build it okay but uh, i wouldn't be able to design it no <laughs> yeah i definitely don't think we can just write down on a piece of paper yeah. this is how you build your <laughs> here's a here's a palette yeah here's a palette full of metal and wood <laughs> go to town um, yeah yeah right so so order some order pre-orders are, are coming in are you guys going to be selling this under the syndicate off-road name or is there going to be a separate brand for the trailers uh, yeah, so our, our official website is overlandtrailersusa.com, okay. but right now it's just a very plain, basic website because our designer is actually um, making a full 3D modular experience type of thing, so that way when you go on the website, you can choose your trailer, and then you can choose different options, or if you want something completely custom, you can call our office, and then we can discuss options that way. But oh, cool. the reason why we wanted to do that is so that way it takes all of the guesswork out of the equation so you literally pick because originally our plan was to come up with three different models scaling in different you know uh, brackets obviously but each trailer you can choose okay i don't want this option but i like this i don't want this finish i I don't want that i want a generator i don't want it some people don't need outlets or receptacles or anything like that some people do so it just kind of depends on what they want and it's a lot of programming on the back end of it but our designer is actually really good at what he does. So he's be he's basically taking our the trailer that you saw today, uh, Cody, the one that's all, um, about fifty percent done, and he's taking that and then he's making different templates for it. So this is your basic shell. This is what you're going to get, and then you'll yeah. have you know uh, five to ten different options of how it's going to look. Basically, um, the finish work. So okay, the finish work is really what's most important, or at least the people, you know. So that's kind of like where we're at right now. But as far as everything else, we're just spamming Google and we're spamming Facebook and spamming everywhere just to get a bunch of phone calls. Nice. So that way we can start the process that way. And what phone number should people call? I can't say that. <laughs> I don't know. You want me to give it to you? Uh, edit that. <laughs> I, I can't I can't say that yet because my, my, my sales and marketing guy, he's one of our partners. He, he's very specific on how he does things. So okay. I just, I kind of leave that up to him. And then when he says, okay, now we can go ahead and, you know, blast it all over the place. Then Got I'm it. like, okay, 
now I can go call all my friends and tell them. So, so to people. be determined. So keep an eye out to be determined uh, because there's going to be an option for you guys to start calling and ordering these things. Um, like I said, I, I can't wait to see them. Uh, Jose got to see the prototype on the on the trail, but I can't wait to see that finished one out on the trail um, and see how it does. I mean, like I said, it looked super stout and put together well from what I saw. Uh, I'm interested to see how they do once you get them out on the dirt. Um and what, so you, you talked earlier about some of the partners. You've got some new partners that are doing some things. What else is that bringing to Syndicate? What other kind of things are you doing uh, above and beyond the trailers? Well, um, honestly, they uh, the, these guys are awesome. So we, we've actually worked with them for about almost five years in our marketing department. So like our vinyl shop and our marketing company, mm -hmm. that's where we've had that established relationship. And basically what happened is these guys, um, we, we kind of brought it to them because they are trailer manufacturers. So we said, hey, like, what do you think about, you know, building us an Overland trailer? And they said, okay, that's great. So we were, originally we were just, they were just going to be our manufacturers. We would buy it at a wholesale price and then we'd resell it to the public. But their marketing guy did a lot of research on our company and he saw a lot of good things, you know. So basically they approached us and say, hey, like, you know, we want in, we want a piece of the pie. So we nice. worked out, um, you know, a deal and to where we, we brought in two more partners for the company. And ever since they came on, it's just been like insane. <laughs> so not only do these guys actually build and manufacture these things 100% through our facility, because we basically took their old facility that they're working out of. We brought them into ours because we had the space and we could accommodate everything that they're doing on top of what we were doing. And they helped invest a little bit into uh, Syndicate when it comes to the marketing on Google, on Facebook, um, Instagram, and a lot of other channels that we're not going to get into just yet. But um, other than that, they, they uh, helped us out with our uh, marketing company by buying us some new equipment that we much needed. Nice. And so all around, like ever since they came on board, it's just been really a, a, good, a great transition, you know, so... 2020 is just going to be it's it's been insane ever since you know we we partnered up about four months ago and the growth is just it's been nuts and it's just going to be even more crazier so we're probably gonna have to be hiring some staff here pretty soon i, I know three, three guys sitting here that are super cheap i mean we're not we're not good at anything we're, we're yeah. not good at anything but we're cheap that, that's why we're cheap because we <laughs> suck at everything <laughs> I mean, oh, if you guys will take but, this blade, we, we can talk. We, can talk. We, need, we need people. We need some day laborers. That's what we need. Yeah. Well, well Cody's yeah, actually got to keep Cody away from sharp objects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's assistant, so he's li uh, you know, liable to bleed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, me and Jose. We'll figure uh, it out. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like I said, I have tools. <laughs> We, uh, well, you know which one we built because it gets the, that's the one they discount when they sell it. <laughs> <laughs> this model only, 50% off. <laughs> we don't want our name on it. <laughs> you got to look at it with one eye closed. It's straight and level, you know? No, it's going to be on a slope because it's not going to be level. Yeah. Oh, well, it's getting pulled by the <laughs> oh, frontier yeah. and no one's going to pay attention. <laughs> yeah. So, um, oh. once, uh, once that trailer is completely built and, you know, we're done tinkering with it, uh, we want to get together with some of our uh, close partners that we've been working with. I mean, maybe I think you guys have made the list by now. Probably, I got to probably look at now. us. Think, I think about well, it. All of the Hold lists on. that we wait, hey. all the lists that we've been Don't on have been my crappy. Hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? You guys, have, you guys made it. You made the list. Woo! Congratulations. Woo <laughs> no, but once it's built, we want to we want to give it uh, out to some of our partners and say, hey, you know, take it out for the weekend, take your kids, your family, whatever. My kids. Honest feedback. You want it back in one piece, right? <laughs> oh god, <laughs> man! I was gonna say, just go ahead and take it, but maybe we have to that. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. we are. De oh, yeah, yeah. We're definitely on board with that. Uh, I would For love sure. to. I would love to test one of those things out. See how they go. Um, so yeah, just let us know when we're ready. I mean, and and you know, like we've talked about in the past, and we we did this afternoon is, you know, you guys have been a, a huge help for us, and uh, we appreciate everything that you're doing. Oh, absolutely, you, you're helping us out with the uh, some graphics that are gonna go on a vehicle real soon, and. No. Uh, uh, so I more vagary, <laughs> more vagary. Dude, if you haven't figured it out by now, then I don't know what to say. Uh, so I, I mean, I, I'm excited about what you guys are doing. Um, and, and, you know, I've seen that you guys put 
I go back to the first time we saw you guys uh, at the Halloween event and that you guys were dressed up in sumo outfits <laughs> and playing right, with my daughter right. and, you know, just, just watching the, the progression of syndicate into the, the, the additional clubs and, and now the expansion of this, I feel like you guys have been like on a meteoric rise from, you know, where you were with R81 wraps and the, the company to what your aspirations are now. And I think it's, it's commendable for what you guys are, are you know, you're dreaming big and you're actually going out and building it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. And, and, and to add on to that, too, because uh, we, we actually had a lot of confusion in the beginning with having our marketing company and, you know, syndicate as well. So we're actually shutting down our corporation as already one wraps and we're going to be reopening our marketing company under syndicate wraps. So that way it's just okay. all kind of all right. ties back into the, yeah. the corporation, you know, so yeah, syndicate yeah, enterprises, yeah. syndicate wraps, syndicate trailers. It's just all going to kind of be. Under there, one umbrella, you know, so it's a lot easier for us to just kind of pitch people and talk to them about like who we are, why, wh- where we came from, all that good stuff. Yeah. yeah, that makes that makes perfect sense. Um, and it, like you said, I'm sure it'll make it easier for you guys from a from a whole branding perspective. Um, yeah. What, I mean, th- again, this is super exciting. I mean, do you want to commit to any time frames as to when we're going to see these things out on the dirt? Um, honestly, the, the way this is going, we were supposed to have this trailer completely done by hammers. So, uh, February 5th to February 8th, we're supposed to be out at King of the Hammers. And on February 6th, we're supposed to be doing this big cookout for the public. So that's if everything goes to plan. So, um, but, but turn around, start to finish, you know, if we like have a deposit from a customer, we can definitely crank these things out in about a week and a half to two weeks. Oh, just depends on wow. what exactly they want. Yeah. How, how many people are you going to hire? That yeah. sounds like a, like well, a, a well, buttload. Well, when I was at when I was at the shop, he was pointing. There's a 30 foot toy hauler over there and a 24 foot. He's like, that'll be done by the end of the week. That'll be done. But I'm like, holy crap. Woo. Like it would take me a month hey, of Sundays just to put the sheet metal I, on I, it. I, I want to take back my interest in coming to work for you. That sounds like. Oh, you guys wait, are, you have to work too hard. Yeah, oh, yeah, I don't yeah want to like we actually have to work. We can't, we can't, <laughs> oh, yeah. we can't keep up with that. We underpay you, and then we work you into the ground. That's how we do things. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. Like, can I get yeah, hammered? Yeah. Can I get <laughs> hammered and work? Is that a, is that a possibility? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh okay. We'll work. We'll work. <laughs> Cut twice, measure once, or what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. But yeah, I mean, ever ever since coming on board with our new partners and seeing like how they they can build something so massive from start to finish and how quick you can actually get stuff done if you, if you got a good team with you, it really surprised me. Because, I mean, like a 30-foot toy hauler, enclosed and skinned and all that, like, honestly, if you got all the material, you can get it done in a week, week and a half. Wow, wow. So it's just it's really cool to see, like, okay, now that really puts things into perspective on the Overland side. And, and to be completely honest, it actually takes longer to build an Overland trailer as opposed to a 30-foot trailer, just because... There's a lot more electronics. There's a lot more yeah. things that go into it as far as like accessories and things. I would think it's, it's got to be a little more robust too, right? You know, because you're dragging that Overland trailer around, wheeling, and a, uh, a toy hauler is just hauling your stuff. Does yeah. That, does yeah, that make exactly. sense? But, but at the same time, though, I mean, I, I did take Cody into this one build out that we actually did, and it was. You know, I mean, you you saw it. it. It was pretty sweet. It had yeah like seven, eight TVs in it, a bunch of different uh, systems, virtual reality because they have how many TVs in it? So because because par- part of what the partnership the the other partners do even is even I'm only capable of no, sitting, no, no, no. looking at like they two make, TVs at they a make, time. No, they make those gaming <laughs> trailers. Have you seen oh, those where yeah. like you roll up to a house okay. and my nephew 15, had one of those, yeah. yeah. They're All amazing. Right. So we got to, I got to walk into one of those. And like you said, there's like eight trailers along the wall. There's all the, the seats and the, the, you can do a full gaming tournament yeah. inside this trailer. And it was super nice. Okay, inside. let's do it. I'm I know. Enough. Okay, I'm back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it was nuts. I mean, just to see these guys build it from the ground up. And I'm a guy that likes to get dirty. I'm like, okay, put me in the mix. Like, I'm ready to just figure this stuff out and work with you guys and and now, like, now that I know a little bit on how to build trailers, and now that I'm kind of the lead research and developer guy for this Overland trailer, I'm just super excited because I'm learning something new. I, I got to keep learning something or else I'm just going to drive myself insane doing the same stuff over and over and over again. So it, it's cool, man. It, like, like I said, 
And, and just like you said, Cody, from the first time we actually met and what we were doing to now, it's like, I feel like we're moving at light speed for being such a brand new company. I mean, we're not even, we're not even two years into when we first started. It'll be wow. two years in July wow. when That's we crazy. first started our company. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. And I, and I feel like, I feel like I've watched you guys grow up. <laughs> I feel. Are you going to start crying again? <laughs> <laughs> it brings, it brings a tear to, the brings a tear to my eyes to see you guys all grow up. Uh, but again, I, and I and I feel like there's a lot more on the on the horizon. I mean, you guys are taking on a big challenge, and uh, you know, I'm excited to see what you're doing with it. Just because I've seen what you've done with the other stuff that you've tackled, and uh, I don't I don't think you're going to do this with any less vigor and uh, accomplishments than you did everything else. So I'm excited. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, how fast we 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 moved to this point. And then our partners are twice as crazy as we are. They're just like, oh yeah, we're, we're dreaming to the stars. Like we're no, getting wow. I don't think the scale like, goes that far. I don't. I don't. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're sitting here trying to make Syndicate Enterprise a publicly traded company. I'm like, okay, you guys. Need whoa, to take whoa. It back. <laughs> Jack, hey, like you guys are madmen, but I'm, I'm, I'm for it. You know, I'm all. We're, <laughs> we're all ready. Up. We're excited. We're jumping in. We're getting our hands dirty, and we're just, you know, we're we're getting it done. So all right, put me like, down for. It's going to be very. Oh yeah, yeah. Put me down for forty five cents of stocks. Yeah, I, I got forty five cents to put towards the effort. I think they're called shares. Nice. Shares. Dude, that's like that's like fifty percent of the company. Yes. Oh, dude, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> right. Buy low. Buy low, sell high. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome, oh, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, I'm excited. We talked some more about uh, uh, some of the stuff that we've got coming up. I know that that uh, Trail Chasers and Syndicate are partnering on uh, uh, some an effort we're working on right now, and and I think that uh, hopefully you guys get everything out to Hammers. We will be out there from the fifth to the eighth, and uh, we will be looking to connect with you at some point. Um, you know, it's, it's funny, like everybody we've been talking to. Are you guys going to be out there? Yes, we're going to be out. Okay, we're going to be out there. So we have to like. We have to find a way to see everybody yeah. while we're out yeah. there. So we're we, gonna, we've hoard ourselves out. I to totally everybody. do. Well, <laughs> when we're worth forty five cents an hour, it's you know people, people. I want my forty five yeah. cents. You get <laughs> you better get your yeah, ass right. over here. Dude, you guys Literally. are famous though. You guys are famous. I think I think I need I need you guys to like sign a t shirt. So in like 10 years, <laughs> oh, like, yeah, you know, right. To get rich off this, dude, you know? that would it's just all... ruin your t shirt. Dude, we, yeah, <laughs> you'd have to pay someone to take the shirt after we yeah. sign it. Wait a minute. Uh, first of all, you have to uh, sign up for that first before I do it. Uh, you'll have to pre. <laughs> it's prepay yeah. on uh, Instagram. We're gonna we're gonna, gonna set, set up, it up first. We'll set up a kissing booth type scenario <laughs> so people can line up and get uh, signatures yeah, on shirts. A lot of dudes uh, going to Matt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I gotta do what I gotta do to hey, promote 20, the brand. Bad 20, idea. Bad 20, abort. Abort. 20, <laughs> twenty bucks is twenty bucks, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a long four days at uh, <laughs> King of the Hammers, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, we, we're gonna try our best to be out there at Hammers because you know we announced it and all that. We're gonna be doing TDS, um, Tierra del Sol in uh, Salt and Sea uh, at the end of. The following month, I believe, yeah. Yeah. the beginning of yeah. March. March, and then we're going to try and hit uh, Overland West, hopefully the one in Costa Mesa as well, and then if not, or probably Arizona, Colorado, if we can, and then Costa Mesa for sure, if if time allows us to do that. But Man. Uh, re- really, what we're doing is we're, we're trying to gear ourselves up to get ready for our summer documentary that we're going to be shooting in, I want to say, the beginning of July. So uh, we got a ton of work to do before that even gets put into place but so far it's it's supposed to be like full-blown productions we're really excited about that we're basically going to do a seven to ten day trip up the california coast with the overland trailers and just kind of sightseeing and showing people like an overland side aspect of things you know like being able to just throw your gear in your trailer hit the road you don't have to have an rv or you know, you can go off grid and not have to worry about, you know, a couple of days to prepare, you know, stuff like that. We're, that's what, that's like the picture we're trying to paint for the public with, with this new uh, production that we're going to be doing in the middle of the summer. See, now I need to go to work with you guys yeah. because I, I can't. No, you'd be slaving away in the in the warehouse. I would. Stuff together. <laughs> you don't get to go they, on the north. While, while they're out on the you, Pacific Coast yeah. Highway with a trailer, I'm putting stuff together. Damn, Danny, man. Yeah, you're cutting sheet metal, work. dude, over there at the. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Uh, that's yeah, that, that's what Sergio wants to do. <laughs> Sergio just wants to be a lazy bum and get paid to drive across the country and n- get content. Basically, uh, like, no, I like Sergio. Yeah. That's yeah. not how that works, buddy. That's yeah. not how that works. Me, yeah. and, me and Sergio, 
Yeah. I think the word is simpatico. Yeah, like we're yeah. in the same group right there. You, you and Sergio are buds for yeah. sure. Well, dude, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look, man, I, uh, I'm excited for you guys. This is cool. Uh, I, I'm sure that we will have more conversations as we, uh, as we get closer to you, the release date. And if you, if you want someone to test one of those trailers to its maximum capabilities, uh, this Especially is the durability. This side. is the group to do that for you. <laughs> but I, I like these guys, Cody. I don't I know, know if I want that's to, true. I don't know if I want to test Dude, this. I don't know that your I'll, frontier I can might... pull it anyway. Oh, now. Uh, <laughs> see, I was going to say, oh, I don't want to be responsible for uh, being responsible. Uh, and that, thing yeah, that, no, and that, other, that other thing in the driveway, your, your you know that thing's not going to pull Your Frontier it. doesn't have the same towing capacity as some other vehicles. In the oh, group. oh, doesn't it? Oh, man. <laughs> like there's, some, uh, there's like some kind of hatred going on. No, no it's called animosity. Yeah. That's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, oh, there you go. Animosity. There you yeah. Go. Perfect word for that. <laughs> no. Uh, so, yeah, uh, like I said, let's, let's stay in touch, man, because I, I, we're going to be at Hammers. We'll try to connect there. You mentioned a couple of those uh, uh, the, the Four Wheeler Adventure Expo, we're going to be at that for sure. Um, we got, you know, uh, Overland Expo West and those other things are on the calendar. We're still trying to figure that part out, but uh, we do have uh, full time jobs <laughs> that that uh, require us to be at for some reason. I know, right? How ridiculous is that? Uh, I was going to make a snide remark about uh, full time jobs, but. Uh, no, you may have someone <laughs> listening to this. Exactly. So. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm pretty popular at work and people go, might be listening. So. Yeah, go. Yeah, go ahead. My old company might listen in on this, so I'd love for them to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks awesome. so much for everything. Thanks for coming on, and uh, we'll be talking soon. You have a great night. Yeah, you too, guys. All Take right. it easy. Bye. Okay. Thanks, man. You're listening to a 4x4, 4x4. 4x4. Radio Network Podcast. The Trail Chasers Podcast is a member of the 4x4 Radio Network. If you want more off-road shenanigans in your ear holes, Go to 4x4radionetwork.com to hear episodes of the Jeep Talk Show, the 4x4 Podcast, the Center Steer Podcast, and On the Trail with Kevin and Scott. All right, everybody. So it has been a while. We've uh, we've been kind of alluding to some stuff. Uh, twenty twenty is going to be a fantastic year, partially in due to the to the gentlemen that are on the phone tonight. We have uh, Tyler West and Jeremy Healy from uh, Headley from Icon Vehicle Dynamics on the phone. How are you doing tonight, guys? Yes. We're doing good. Doing We're doing well. I'm doing well. I can't speak for Tyler. How are you doing? <laughs> doing great, man. Can't complain. <laughs> so you guys know how much we love Icon suspension and Icon products. We've been talking about them for six months or so, ever yep. since we got the chance to hang out with these guys. And uh, I'm so, so, so excited to announce that as of today, Icon Vehicle Dynamics is an official sponsor of the Trail Chaser podcast. Awesome. Woo! Woo! Yeah. yeah. There yeah, we go. Yeah, this we is... We missed our opportunity for a drum roll right there. I know. I'll, I'll, head, I'll have to edit that one in. I'll, edit that. Edit that. I'll edit have to edit that. that one in. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. so, so, so we... Sirens going on right there. <laughs> um, go, going back to, you know, uh, I would say the the um, McGrath Ranch, um, where we had the chance to kind of see you guys' products and really, you know, understand what you guys were doing. And it we was kind the of, King's Ranch, just to Oh, the King's you. Ranch. I'm yeah. sorry. Easy. I'm sorry. And, <laughs> well, hey, it was that important to me. I know. And, and then... Uh, so from that point on, we kind of really started interacting with you guys and having a lot of conversations. And and one of the things that we've talked about is that not only do we love the Icon products, but you guys are just super cool and fun to hang out with. So it, it, to me, it just seemed like a really good fit. And I really, really, really appreciate you guys having the confidence in uh, in the three of us to not screw up bad enough. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to tell you, even though the uh, the ink is still still wet, you probably made a bad choice. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I don't need a fancy contract or anything that to to kind of persuade me. Honestly, when I told you guys give it the beans and you put the give foot it all down beans. Oh, yes. and you jump that gladiator, I was yeah, told that, that was the test that we're we're like minded. <laughs> yes, that was the test, dude. I will oh. tell you, and uh, I have given it all the beans to this point, so much so, <laughs> so much so that I was influenced by the uh, the experience I had at the King's Ranch. And sitting in my driveway right now is a 2019 Ford Ranger XLT. Oh, there it is. FX4 with Icon suspension, Icon wheels, and Nexon tires on it. 
You admitted to it. Oh, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> you, yeah. There's the yeah, Buvuzela so saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You admitted. Uh, you admitted to it. We've been alluding to it. it back. We've been alluding to it for a while. And so really what it came down to was, you know, this building this partnership with Icon. And I knew this was going to happen. And I, I, I was looking for something uh, new. And I, I rem- recall how much I enjoyed the Ranger with that Icon suspension on it. And it kind of made me pull the trigger. And uh, these guys were, were awesome. And they set us up with a really great uh, kit on that truck and I got to drive it today for a little bit. I haven't had the chance to wheel it, but uh, I am super excited about getting that truck. Well, you out you got the dr- to wheel it stock the other night. Yeah. Yes. So, so we, did a quick we, we baseline, didn't. Uh, right? Yeah, exactly. I, yeah. I, we thought that was important. You got to get out there how we we I mean, it was a night run, so we didn't really get too aggressive. But you got to see how it performed in stock yeah. form. Yeah. I so, think that's important. So the coming up in two weeks, February fifth, sixth, seventh, or yeah, fifth through the eighth, uh, Icon and Trail Chasers are going to be out at King of Hammers. That's going to be the really first time that we all get to hang out, right, guys? Oh yeah. And that is correct. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. I mean, this we've been looking forward to it for a while, and you know, getting the truck ready for for hammers. I know you guys behind the scenes have been working all kinds of stuff, getting ready uh, with the uh, the race team and the Overland Experience, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But um, you know, going back to the sponsorship of the show, you, you know, it, it means a lot to us to to have kind of this connection with you guys because we believe in the products that you guys are putting out. We we have firsthand knowledge of them. We know their quality. We've seen them, uh, you know, Ho- Jose spent his hard-earned money on a kit to put on his cruiser, and we've seen what that's done for his vehicle. Um, and so we appreciate it, and we're looking forward to partnering with you guys to do a bunch more stuff. And and it, with that, we've talked about a, a bunch of events, Hammers being the first one. If there's any way we can help promote yeah. the product, now now we can, you yeah. know, and that's, uh, yeah. I couldn't yeah, be exactly. more excited and, about and that. Just like, just like you guys are kind of talking about right now is, is – you got to experience the product. You got to put your butt in the seat and really feel it and you're sold. And, and to, to kind of be able to experience that with you was, was huge on, on, on my side of things. And I'm sure Tyler got the same kick, kick out of it that I did, but it's always so, so cool to see people, you know, we, we can, we can blast out flyers and we can put up social posts and make all these cool videos and really try to push our product. But when you just put somebody in the seat, and let them experience it and see the, the smile that comes on their face or the airtime they put under the all four tires. It's just, it, there's something extra special about that moment. And yeah, uh, nothing like, explains like that you guys have alluded to. <laughs> yeah. And, and that day was just, was awesome. I mean, it was kind of a no brainer when, when, uh, you know, we're looking for, you know, other partners or new partners moving into 2020 and being able to just sit down with you guys and, and talk like, like we've been buddies for years and we've been running trails together for a long time. It's just, uh, it, you don't find that every day. So, so we, we yeah. were absolutely over the moon to partner up with you guys and it, it should be, uh, an, a, a perfect opportunity for us to kind of spread product awareness and get our brand out there. But at the same time, just, just have fun. I mean, that's really what we're looking forward to is just, uh, having you out to more events and, and showing you guys what, what we do and what, what icon does and, uh, it, having a good time doing it. So. Really, really, yeah. really looking forward to this. Yeah, and I think what uh, what makes us unique about us is we bring like different product to the tape. Like our trucks are all different. Yeah, like Cody has that new Ranger. I mean, Matt has the you know the Frontier, the trusty Frontier, and I have a Land Cruiser. Like, I mean, both they're all they're all totally different brands. I wouldn't have totally described different. my Frontier as trusty. I would have said kick ass Frontier. But go on, he's got that. He's got that. He's got that go. cute Frontier. Yeah, yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> You know, my first off-road vehicle, Frontier. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> play, play school made a, made a truck. All right. uh, but no, so- but it's like the we all have a different segment of the whatever off-road world, right? I mean, yeah. we all wheel different things, yeah. and and uh, we just we get to show the different products you have to have to offer. Yeah, yeah. And that one of the things that that Jeremy and I have talked about is kind of how this relationship will evolve over time. Is um, I'm excited about having them on the show regularly to do product reviews and discussions or tech talk. Or yeah, I mean, we are not. Not shock scientists. We've talked about that nope. before. <laughs> we are not suspension science. Matter of fact, there's okay. no science. We have in no science here. It's just no. so we need. We need. It's all bro science here. Yeah. We need the uh, the engineer, the icon engineers, to tell us these kinds of things. But absolutely, uh, just looking yeah. looking at the product and being able to. The other day, I got to walk the uh, uh, the warehouse and the fabrication floor with you and and see kind of the things that you're doing and working on today and. 
there's a lot of exciting stuff happening there in this world. I mean, and for, for those of us that are in the off-road worlding world and, and see what Icon is doing, um, I'm excited about not only what you've already got on the table, but just the evolution of the product as you're building it. Yeah, a hundred percent. And, and 2020, I mean, this is as far as partnering up and, and being able to help us kind of tell our story, we couldn't have picked a better time. Uh, there, there are things I can't really talk too much and I can't, I can't go into too much detail and, and Tyler, I'm sure, sure will say the same thing, but man, we have some really, really big news and some really big goals and, uh, some really cool product coming down the pipe for 2020. So. This is a good year for uh, for us to start this partnership. So oh, man. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely an exciting year coming up. That's for sure. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. I, we, once we get that uh, stage twenty four kit on the Ranger, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> once, once that frontier is levitating across yeah. the desert, I can't. That's right. It's going to be amazing. That's the Nissan Land Speeder. <laughs> like Star Wars, baby. Yeah, the Nissan La- uh, Land Speeder, right uh, by that Ford Ranger, just right. Like I would like it standing I would, still. I would love to see that, Matt. Uh, so the, I, I think we have to like just touch on before. Before we go on further, we do have to touch on the, the elephant in the room. I, are, are you happy with your choice of ditching your trusty Toyota Tacoma? Oh, <laughs> my God. Hey, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> we, we didn't have any discussions for about going up. down this. And technically, I haven't ditched anything. I still have two payments. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Fair enough. So unless, until someone wants to buy the, the Tacoma. Yeah, trying to pawn it off to me. Uh, uh, well, I, I want Jose to buy it to keep it in the family. But if someone wants to buy the Tacoma, it's Cody at Trailchasers.net. I want Jose to buy it so he can kick the shit out of that, that Ranger so we were just in your old truck. Yeah. We were, we <laughs> were just guys. But before before you guys called in, we were talking about how how sad I would be if Jose bought the truck. Oh, we put icon how, suspension how on it. How sad and you he, would be. Yes. How happy oh, I would. Yeah, be. I would be. Yeah. So like, if someone in the family wants to buy it, <laughs> but but yeah, if you if you want to buy the Tacoma, it's going to be listed for sale soon. So you can hit me up Cody at trailchasers.net or send me a message on Instagram. But that will be on sale. Um, I to be to be honest, I am very excited about the the. The, the switch the Tacoma 100% will run for another 200,000 miles it's never given me a problem it will never have a problem uh, the only the, the, I think the compelling thing for me was that the Ranger is a new platform there's not very many people with them um, it's and? it's additional content for the show <laughs> say it and and what it's got that Ford emblem on the what, front of it. What? What's wrong? I don't. I, I don't have a problem with the I, Ford logo the way oh, you guys okay. do. You guys do. Mm. Uh, but my my point is, I mean, uh, I I could have I could have run that Tacoma for another two hundred thousand miles and not had any problems. Um, with the change in jobs and the daily driving it and the ability to put the Icon suspension on it, it just kind of factored in that it was a good opportunity for me to jump into something different that would uh, help us with with show content and topics of, of discussion. And you know, I want to see what it does you know in all honesty i mean that it it does it looks amazing now that that you put the lift on it and it's got the bigger wheels it completely changes the uh the look it seems like an aggressive oh they're uh, so mellow stock yeah Yeah, exactly it just seems very mellow they look like an old man's truck it looks like a mild meaty tires on and uh, you level it out they're a whole different piece it looks like maybe yeah, it could handle a basket of groceries. Yeah, yeah. Stock like uh, I'll make it to Seven Eleven and back. I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, you know, actually, I'm very excited to see how. I mean, that's a ten speed right transmission yeah. and turbo uh, four yeah. cylinder. I, I want to see how it does. I yeah. really do. And uh, you know, we've wheeled, wheeled for a couple of years or a few years now, and and I know what the Toyota was ca- or how. You were like our scout, like, okay, let's yeah. go, go take that hill, yeah. you know, see if we can do it. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I still expect that, that you're going to be that, yeah, no, no, that I, same person 100%, in, a, in and, that Ford. And I expect, I am looking forward to it. Like, um, I don't have, um, I know that there's a possibility that we'll get out on a trail and I'll go hit a, hit a, uh, uh, an obstacle in the same fashion I would have in the Tacoma and the Ford doesn't make it. And I'm going to be kind of bummed about that, but we wouldn't know. None of us would know until one of us bit the bullet. Right. Yep. Uh, so this is an opportunity for us to see how it does. I expect it to do well, but we'll see. I mean, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna yeah. depend. And I, I think the ability to put, so we took it wheeling just, and we'll do a full like ranger review in the next one of the next episodes. But, uh, as we were talking about getting together Sunday to put the icon lift on the Ranger, Jose was like, we, sh- we need to get that thing on the trail bef- stock before we put the lift kit on so you can compare. 
Like you're right. You got to get your baseline. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we literally five o'clock hit Cleghorn on Saturday night for a bomb run and just, and took it. And I will tell you, the suspension in that, <laughs> that he, had, oh. he had problems keeping up with the frontier. <laughs> the, the, uh, that because the, 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 his coochie hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it had, no, it had nothing oh, to do with my, my coochie. It had to do with my daughter in the pe- in the uh, car seat mm. behind. So the, the, that suspension blame it on bro, blame it on Presley. I know. The, the suspend the stock suspension on the FX4 Don't is cry. super springing. <laughs> it is yeah. it is super springing. Those, those things are just really really under. Under damped in, yeah. in a stock then, form. That was our biggest complaint with them. They're mm-hmm. they're great trucks. The power is great. The you know the NVH levels in the cab is quiet. Everything was really really nice. Uh, but yeah, they just they they were oversprung and under damped, yeah. and and just that was a, a big part of our tuning that we had to go back and back and back on. Yeah, was, uh, yeah. was just getting that getting that balance dialed. I will say those the things are super unbalanced from the factory. The front mm-hmm. suspension is way softer than the rear. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think for they sure. have to get that really heavy duty tow rating out back. But yeah, it, it definitely needed some help in the, the suspension department. That's for sure. Well, I think that's what we were talking about because it has such a great tow rating that maybe is because of that uh, the the. Sp- the suspension in the rear that it was so uh it's like super spring it's like a puzzle exactly. it, it, it exactly. almost so i felt to somehow achieve a higher uh, yeah. tow, tow ability and i felt like i could hit i felt like i could hit a ditch hard without bottoming out but the rebound was two to three times more than whatever the the downforce was and it, it almost like it almost like pushed me over it's like we went over a couple you know 45 degree uh, uh trenches where you get you know one wheel in on the left and then the the, the frontier tokyo drifted around yeah, a couple yeah. of corners and he tried to do the same thing it, it was and uh, you know he had a he had a slow down a yeah bit. so i i am <laughs> i am i really am, am I can't wait to get it out on the same trail and maybe we'll pick a night one night and do it real quick, but do the same trail now that the icon kit is on there because I can already feel in just the, just having the front suspension installed. I can already feel the difference in the way it handles on the road when it goes over dips. And I haven't even adjusted anything. That's just this come out of the box, out got of the installed. Box. Yeah, I, yeah. I haven't made any damper. It's only adjustments been a day. I know. <laughs> and I, and I've only driven yeah. it for three hours. Yeah. Um, so I, and, I, and what's nuts, and I, I hate to, I hate to drill down so far on the Ranger, but, uh, gosh, you, you shameless plug here. You definitely got to go check out the video that Tyler put together yes. it's on our YouTube page, YouTube icon vehicle dynamics. You Ranger. officially sponsored and if the you show. Just watch that side by side. You do all the shameless it's plugs nuts. you want. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely nuts. Just the difference in stock versus, versus our stuff on that truck. And, and you hit it on the head, just the, the, the lack of rebound control in that truck factory. Um, you know, it equates to a good ride when you're only on road, but man, off road, just watching that thing pogo and bounce two to three times after getting over an obstacle. And then with the icon stuff, just sticking that landing and not bouncing mm-hmm. one time mm-hmm. afterwards. Well, we ex- it's just, it's an, it's a night day yeah. difference when it, when it comes and to in cab comfort. Yeah. And th- those videos we did, I mean, that was only a stage two system we tested with. And it made a massive, mm-hmm. massive difference. Does, it, does so, the stage two even have the two point fives in the back, or uh, Co- Cody is on the stage five? No, He's but got, the, uh, the two point. Oh, I'm sorry, just no that? the 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 stage two though the one you guys tested did it even have? Oh yeah, it was a that was a two five uh, non reservoir coil over okay. front with an upper arm and a two point oh aluminum tear shock in the back. Yeah, so it wasn't even it wasn't even a two point five out yeah. in the back, and yeah. it was that much improvement well and we got to experience oh, yeah. it so that video that you're talking about if you look at it it shows the ranger um split screen and it shows you know going over some obstacles at the ranch mm-hmm. and we got to experience that we got to we didn't get to drive the ranger because it, uh, it was brand new but we got to sit in it with dylan on and dylan drove it pretty damn aggressively and you could feel the difference when we took the stock one over some of those uh um uh, offset whoops you could feel the back end boing 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 all over the place yep, and then yeah. and then you you get out of that truck get right into the ranger equipped with the the two the stage two icon kit and that truck 
tracked in a straight line. I mean, it was amazing. And I'll be honest, those were, those are the videos. Like this whole idea of me getting a Ranger that only popped up a couple of weeks ago. Like it, I, I was just going to get a new uh, a, a Gen three Tacoma. I hadn't even thought about the Ranger, um, and it just kind of like creeped in. And all of a sudden, I was like, I, "This is the truck." Because of all of the things yeah. we talked about, and I knew, I knew that if I put an Icon suspension system on that, I would be happy. Yeah, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. And, and, and the biggest thing, we're, don't, don't get us wrong. Uh, I mean, Tyler himself, he's a, he's a diehard Toyota guy. Uh, I've got a 91 sitting in the garage. I, I like to make fun and poke fun where I can, but I mean, Icon as a whole, it was built on Toyota performance. I mean, yeah. we're, we're never getting away from, from that make. We, we love our Toyotas, but the third gen Tacoma, that just, it's just, I hate to say a step backwards. It's the same chassis as your Tacoma you've got, but that 3.5 liter V6 was just, I mean, I, I'll take the gloves off. It was a step backwards mm -hmm. as, as far as the whole package. And I just, I'm, I'm really looking forward to your long-term review on the Ranger. Yeah. It's wow. just more fun to drive. It's got a little oomph under yeah. the gas pedal when you put it down. Uh, and, yeah. and really when you put the two trucks on, on a lift and, and pull them apart, you can really see where I don't want to say this the wrong way, but maybe where Ford was inspired by uh, a, a chassis that's been working well for years and years and years. Mm. Um, I mean, they are pretty dang similar as far as uh, suspension goes, at least in the front. The, the rear is where you know the differences yeah. become a little more clear. Um, but but yeah, I, I'm just so excited to, to to see you kind of pound on that thing for however long you want, a year or two or more than that. But uh, <laughs> I, yeah. I called like nine really months. Yeah we, yeah, we have a bet going on <laughs> over under. Uh, I, I'm a, like, I, I'm a two to, I'm a three year guy. Like that's, you oh, know, that's max three years on a that, vehicle. Well, I think that's how long I had the Tacoma. I got it in 2017. Um, yeah. You know, the, the WJ before that I had for three years. I mean, that's kind of my range before I go into something new, but uh, I, you know, we, I went and drove the Ranger and the Tacoma side by side at a dealer shed, a CarMax, and all of the things you talked about, I got to experience. I got to experience the difference in drivetrain. I got to experience the difference in uh, cab comfort and, and all of the different things. And that was that's what sealed the deal. That's what it was like. Yeah, okay, yeah. Pri price wise, I could get this Ranger for eight to ten thousand dollars less than what the, a comparable Tacoma would be. Um, I wouldn't have to regear it after I lifted it and put put thirty threes on. It, the drivetrain, I think, is rock solid with that. That my god, that that turbo four is a freaking rocket. It is. It, That's it, I keep hearing. It is yeah, pretty crazy. Quick. Yep. Um, and on the trail, yep. like I, I was telling these guys the other night, if just in like drive four wheel drive regular mode, it's super responsive. The minute you put in um, sport mode and sand on the train management, it completely changes the vehicle and and the way it, resp it responds almost like a dirt bike, like instantaneous throttle. That's it, crazy. It's crazy. Hmm. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting an opportunity to go out and just spend the day pressing buttons and playing and seeing <laughs> what happens. Um, <laughs> yep. Um, so let's so let's talk a little bit about King of the Hammers. So we'll be out okay. there a week from uh, so today, today's Monday the twenty seventh. A week from this Wednesday, so basically a week after this episode drops, we'll be out in in King of at King of Hammers in Johnson Valley. You guys will be out there. Uh, we will be connecting with you on something that you're working on. You want to talk about that? Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, King of the Hammers is is a uh, is kind of a week, week and a half long deal for us because we do have a dog in the fight. We've got a uh, Tom Ways in the Yay. 321 car in the uh, 4400 class, which is the big boy class. That's nice. the, the headliner event Friday all day long. That's, mm -hmm. that's 4400 boys running around. Um, so we, we do go up. We're actually going to be dragging our semi up there, I think, this Thursday, uh, kind of getting the pit set up for the race team and, and, and doing all that kind of stuff, maybe dropping some trailers. But uh, we'll be coming back up, like you said, next Wednesday, early in the morning. And uh, we've, we've got a couple different things going on. So we've, we've got our race support program. We've got Tom and his team out there. And, and obviously, Icon employees are dedicated to that. Um, we've also got a, a, a 20 by 30 booth in Hammertown. So we'll have a couple vehicles on display, some literature, some swag for you guys to come by and grab. Um, we, we, we man that booth infrequently we'll be there maybe we won't but at any given time if you want to walk by and check it out you should be able to grab some literature and learn more about us our big headliner event that we're putting on for king of the hammers this year is the 2020 
uh, King of the Hammers Icon Overland Experience. Yay. And what we're really doing there is, uh, I, I basically, this is a brainchild between, uh, your last guest, I think, Rory from Trigger yes. Solar, <laughs> uh, myself and a couple other people have been, uh, wanting to do something like this for a while now, but, uh, we want to basically just provide an area to build a mini community within the King and the Hammers Madness. And if you haven't been to King and the Hammers yet, it is the Burning Man of off road. <laughs> um, quite <laughs> literally. A, a small totally town attend. pops up. Yeah, yeah. It, it, a small town pops up, you know, pretty much overnight for a week in the middle of the desert. Um, and it, there's just all sorts of carnage going on. I mean, they've got the, the uh, a UTV race. They basically do the King and the Hammers course in UTVs. Uh, at the end of the week, they're doing the King of the Motos, which is the same course on dirt bikes, which is just absolutely gnarly. And then they've got other events throughout the week, like the Everman Challenge. Yeah. Again, the 4400 race, which is the big boys. Uh, and on Thursday, they've got the Toyota Tires uh, Trophy Truck Invitational, which is always really cool to watch yeah. um, because these trophy trucks are kind of out in terrain. They, I don't want to say they have no business being in, but it, it's just different terrain. For, yeah. For a trophy they're truck. not. They're it's not, not a controlled yeah. environment. Yeah, right? they're not, and they're not specifically. Well, at least they haven't been in in history. They they've been specifically built for flat out Baja yep. big whoops. Yeah. They're they're doing stuff that's outside of their element, and I think it's awesome to watch them do it. Yeah, and it's awesome. I mean, that event last Tyler, I might be wrong. Last year, I think was the inaugural trophy truck yes. invitational. Correct. Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that was the first. Thing yeah. Right. And, anyway. and it was, it's, it's, they're not, they're not sending the trophy trucks up Chocolate Thunder down back door or any of the rock crawling sections, but they do put them through some, some pretty gnarly technical stuff again for a trophy truck. And, uh, it's just, it's awesome to watch. Uh, I mean, no matter which day you come out there, whether you're watching an event that's going on during the day or if you just kind of want to come watch all these guys break their, their rock buggies <laughs> or, or their tricked out Toyotas on back door Chocolate Thunder, you know, during the night, there's always something to see out there. And it's, oh, it's yeah. just, if you haven't been, you've got to come out and experience it. And that's what this Overland experience is, is all about. Um, last year, I've asked a handful of uh, our, our, our folks that we work with, uh, you know, as far as brand ambassadors or, or, or sponsored people that we work with. I said, hey, come out to KOH. And there was a lot of um, misinformation going around that, that maybe makes the event seem more daunting or intimidating than it really is. Um, you know, there's, it's an event where, again, it, it's, it's burning man of off road. So you get guys that are out there having the best, living their best life and just yeah. not giving <laughs> one single <laughs> yeah. crap about whatever yeah. vehicle they're in. And they're bouncing off the rev limiter and spitting drive shafts out the, yeah. out the back and yeah. just getting wild. Yeah. People and, from all over the uh, country and all over the world. I mean, there's over 50,000 people that spectate there that week. So that lake bed just turns into chaos and it can be intimidating at first, you know? Yeah. But, but the, yeah. the comment that we've made about it, like my, my interpretation of it is if you are into any type of off road, there is something for you there just in the amount of people that are there and the types of rigs and the vendors and, and the racing and all that just being there is, it's like, Burning. I mean, I've never been to Burning Man, but like it's 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 right. like the you'll, and you'll never go to. No, Man. are you kidding? Why would we burn men? I don't understand. Um, but it, it's just it's like it's like it's like a mecca. It's like going home. It's like you get to see all these people that have a shared passion for the things that you do. Their vehicles are built up. You can drive around and go. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I want one of those. And look at that truck. And I want to get that kid on my truck. And it's it, it's it's really just. It's like Disneyland for me. And going along with your... 100%. Way, it's just like, even yeah. if you're thinking about getting into off-road, it's, it's a good event to go to because you get to see, like, you get to see so many different truck builds and something that... You'll find something that you're interested in and all oh, different yeah. you, levels. You can see, you know, $250,000 pre-runners out there. Yep. You can see, you know, that that ice, that Tacoma with the Stage 9 kit rolling around. Mm -hmm. You can see, you know, the, the world's craziest looking rock buggy that has... 0.5% of a Toyota left in it. <laughs> um, I, I mean, there, there's just, there's are all, you hit it on the head. There's anything and everything you could want to see. It's out there. Um, and it, it's just been, it's a, it's been an event for some reason has scared away your, your, a, a segment of off-roaders that are more used to, you know, organized kind of trail runs and, and not running into a bunch of company and not having to deal with, 
I don't know any other term to put it, but you know, shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I yeah. don't well, know if you can bleep me, but no, no you, you don't say shit. Yeah, we, we decided we decided shit was okay. You can say that. Okay. Perfect, <laughs> we, we, perfect, every but, every other thing know, that comes out of Jose's mouth, we have to bleep. Yes. But <laughs> but shit is okay. <laughs> yeah, but there, there's just a, a group that tends to stay away from the absolute carnage that you'll find at KOH. Mm. And what we wanted to do is find an area that was close enough to the lake bed where you felt involved, but also far enough away where, you know, you could relax at night. Yeah. You weren't yeah, in the middle of the bad You weren't. Yep. A hundred percent. And, and that's what the, uh, the icon overland experience is. So we're starting off on Wednesday, the fifth, uh, with kind of a soft opening. Uh, this was supposed to be our hard opening day. Um, but I realized that it's really hard for, for a lot of people to get Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday out of work, especially on such short notice. Um, so Wednesday, if anyone's listening to this and you're able to make it out, this is just an opportunity for, for you to come out and kind of hang out with Icon. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna be out in vehicles. I think we're gonna have our Gladiator out there, the Ranger. Uh, gosh, we've got half a dozen vehicles that, that will be there. And, and, uh, from about noon to four o'clock on Wednesday, we're gonna meet up at, um, our location, which this is going out to a select few people. And then once we see how many of those people are, we can start <laughs> spreading the word. Um, it's not going to be very hard to find us. So if, if you are interested and you just make it out and happen to stumble across us, feel free to, to, you know, join the convoy or whatever. But, uh, Wednesday from, from noon to four, we're going to kind of get a big group together and we're just going to bounce around the lake bed and show people that may or may not have been out to King and Hammers before. We're going to show them, you know, Hey, this is back door. This is, this is a place you want to go see on Friday. This is where a lot of carnage happens. Mm. And then we're going to go across the lake bed and say, Hey, this is chocolate thunder. This is an awesome place to spectate. Nice. Um, can you, you know, explain why sure you, you mark this in your GPS? Can What's you explain up? why they uh, call it chocolate thunder? Can, so, is that something we can, you know what? Maybe I, maybe I've asked, asked that before. The show. Uh, uh, I just think that's <laughs> maybe hilarious. Maybe we need to get, an actual hammers participant, yeah, let, but let, I have no idea where the name no, no, from they, trail in all, in all honesty, came from. The, the at Chocolate Thunder, the the rocks are brown. It, it, they're really like oh. they're a, a brown sh- uh, shale type. Oh, I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> <laughs> no, it they, doesn't have anything to do with the dessert at <laughs> Outback. No, okay, no, don't bring a cup. Um, <laughs> the what? so the uh, two girls. So that's Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh. Wednesday. Yeah, thank you. Oh, <laughs> you didn't have disgusting. to say it, Jose. Everybody knew. Was it implied? I'm yes, sorry. Yes, it was implied. <laughs> Nobody had to say anything. I'm sorry. Uh, I, don't, I don't get social we'll, we'll, cues. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we're learning that Jose has Aspergers. Yes. Um, <laughs> so that's so Wednesday noon to four. We're gonna go sightseeing, check out all the stuff. Apparently, Matt's looking for you to be like a Jungle Cruise. I, 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 a Jungle I, Cruise. I, 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 thought, I thought that's the direction you were going. It's like I'm gonna take you to Chocolate yeah, yeah. Thunder. I'm gonna explain what. Uh, it means and then you said something about back door or whatever and i just and then chocolate my, thunder. My, we're, we're gonna <laughs> my imagination i'm gonna have to cut thunder. i'm gonna have to cut right. this whole thing just out we're gonna go jack hammer hammer town you guys are killing that's a five yeah. minute edit right yeah. there uh, no. go on no. Gone. So, <laughs> so when Wednesday we get to go get do some sightseeing. Who started this race? That's what I want to know. Vivid. Who started this race? Was it like <laughs> Vivid? You have to ask. You can't afford it. Uh, look, <laughs> exactly. Oh, you can't. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. I love that. I love that. Oh, man. All right. Chocolate yeah, uh, Thunder's right next door to Stepmom. And- <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Oh, hey, you got to delete those cookies, bro. I, I, oh, my God. I cannot uh, wait to get out there. This is going to be so fun. Um, so then so, so then Wednesday's, the, Wednesday's get, sightseeing. Get it. When, Just so you guys that. know what you're sponsoring here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys are comfortable <laughs> with this content. <laughs> Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, we we turn into a soft soft opening for our Overland experience. So if, if you yeah, make yeah. it out, great. We, we'd love to have you. We'll have a place for you to park. We'll have a place for you to camp. We have things for you to do. Uh, we just decided to roll back our efforts on Wednesday and put more on to Thursday. But uh, anyway, Wednesday we're we're doing a hot spot tour. We're going to show you guys all the areas. Um, for from about five four thirty to five to six o'clock we're gonna meet up at Hammertown we're gonna walk through Hammertown and uh, over to the Icon Vehicle Dynamics Semi where the race team is hanging out wrenching on the 4400 car 
Um, and then we'll, this will be our, our chance to kind of meet and greet. We'll, we'll have Tom kind of say, Hey, I'm Tom. This is who I am and what I do. Give his whole background. That guy, he could fill up an hour on your podcast just by himself. Oh yeah. We um, love and that. That guy. would probably yeah. be part one of a, a bigger mini series. That guy, he yeah, is, he's, he's a modern day take man, man. Yeah, we talked yeah. to him at the ranch, and I mean, just the backstory of him being a uh, extreme skiing instructor and, and expedition guy to now racing, <laughs> and like that guy's <laughs> lived the life. I, I'm so jealous. I want to live a quarter of his I know. life. Yeah, I know he has. He straight up. He uh, this is not the stuff of legend. I mean, he he has uh, bought a bear out of his home. Of course, he has. Place up in. Yeah, up where he's at, and uh, there, I think there was a big ass black bear just kind of rummaging through his, he his kitchen. Him. It was just Matt, and he, <laughs> it was just Matt. I was just looking for an autograph. <laughs> But That's yeah, all. you know what? We're, we're going to have to get him on the show. He, Absolutely. He he, and he did. He, he said he would come on the show. We just haven't coordinated. I, so I, I will ne- I will make an effort to get him on, on a call. Well, I have a st- restraining order. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. After the bear incident. After, after King 500 Amherst, feet, so we have something good to talk 500 about. 500 feet. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, the Wednesday. Got Wednesday covered. Th- yeah. What's Thursday? Anyway, like? well, Wednesday, and, and we're also doing a party Wednesday night. So if you can make it out uh, or you need more information, just reach out to... Uh, Gosh, I don't know who, where to point people. How many viewers do you have these days? I don't. I don't want five hundred messages. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I would say don't give out your phone number right now. That's. I'll, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Uh, well, it, people it, know how to it, get a hold of us if you want some info. So that so. And you don't want to talk to those people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are buffer. Trust me. Well, we're doing something Wednesday night as well. We, we'd love to have a bunch of people out. We've got a Casey highlight supporting uh, the Morrison sisters at LGCTS. They're providing a venue for us. Uh, we've got Hangar 24 that's, that's uh, big time helping us out with uh, some of the best beer around. And uh, we've got Backwoods Barbecue as well that's going to come out and cook for us. So we've got we've got a cool thing going on Wednesday night. Again, it's kind of a soft day, so if you make it, great. If you don't, no worries. Uh, then we roll right into Thursday. Okay. And Thursday, I'm, I'm we're starting bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, 8 o'clock in the morning till 10. We're going to do an off-the-grid Cars and Coffee. Um, we're, we want people to roll into our base camp, kind of set up their home, if you will, mark their territory, and, and we're going to use that as an opportunity to fill you up on caffeine with some coffee and get you some calories with some donuts and just, just talk. You know, when, when we're all rolling in and kind of hanging out, it's always a, a good opportunity to talk about setups or brag about Cody's Ranger or whatever yes. you guys want to do. Um, that's going to be our time to kind of meet everybody, say hi. How are you? This is where I came from. This is who I am. And uh, that's going to last for a couple hours until we roll right into our opportunity to go uh, spectate the trophy truck race that's happening on Thursday. Okay. So we're, we're going to roll right into that. We're going to leave from our base camp and go to some really cool spectator spots to see the trophy truck race. Um, that's going to take up a good bulk of the day. Obviously, nobody's handcuffed to us. They don't. They don't need to be babysat. If, if anyone wants to leave and go wheel or go check out Hammertown or anything like that, they can. But we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be hanging out watching Coke Trucks race, and then uh, later that day, from about four o'clock onward, we're uh, we're doing some overland slash adventure education seminars. Uh, we're gonna teach you guys how to do some really cool stuff. Uh, one of our icon employees, Caleb, uh, and his dad actually have just a gigantic wealth of knowledge about the Mojave Desert, about off-roading, about our local mountains. They, they, they know so much about our immediate area and off-roading within it. Mm-hmm. And we got they're, to and they're part of the least an hour. Team the mountains, too. I mean, those guys... Those guys are the real deal. Yeah, and we they got to hang out yeah. with Caleb at the ranch. And just the one thing I'll tell you about Caleb, I think we talked about it at the time. He's in the, I think we were in the Raptor, and he's just in the passenger seat, and I'm filming a bunch of stuff. And Casey's driving, and I'm I'm scared shitless because I've seen my <laughs> brother drive. And Caleb's like, no, man, you could go faster. Like, yeah, dude, mellow. just the <laughs> mellowest. Like, no, dude, just you, you're, you're good. Go faster. You're good. And I'm like, Caleb, what are you doing, man? I'm like, you're taking all of our lives in your hand. <laughs> but, so he knows. <laughs> you he, don't know him like got, we he's, do. He's got like nerves of steel. You, you know, I, well, Caleb does have nerves of steel, but that's uh, that's faith in our product, too. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's absolutely. Just, you know that there's a margin of of, uh, of error that, that comes with our product. You can screw up a little bit and it's going to save your ass. Right. But, but yeah, Caleb has been doing this stuff. Caleb's our um, 
I, I, I hate to say pack mule, but he's our R and D workhorse. He, yeah, I mean, when a new, new vehicle comes in, he's the first one to put it up on the rack and pull it all apart. And, uh, now that we've, uh, kind of acquired some new technology, you know, he's, he's 3D scanning these things and got a 3D, like, I, Caleb is just, I, I, I don't have enough words in my vocabulary to, uh, he's, express my gratitude for Caleb and what he does for our company. Um, he is the jack of all trades. Put that's, it that way. Yeah, that's 100%. Awesome. That's but, awesome. But anyway, we're, we're going to have him and his dad out. And uh, I think Rory wants to talk about his product a little bit. The yeah. KC guys might talk about some of their stuff. But for a couple hours in the evening on Thursday, we're, we're going we're gonna to provide some education. We're going to do our best to uh, answer any questions that anybody has or, you know, make jokes that nobody wants to hear or whatever it might be. <laughs> we're good um, at that. And then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah they, they've already like heard all the over. jokes they don't want to hear. They listen to this show. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And, uh, and, and Casey Highlights is going to round out the night on Thursday. We're going to have a big-ass bonfire. Um, so if you haven't found us by Thursday night, just look for a big orange glow somewhere <laughs> on the lake bed. It's going to be northeast yeah. of, of Hammertown. Just just go there, and you'll find us. Um, so, yeah, that, that's Thursday. And and I've only made it halfway through our Overland experience yeah. now, so uh, I hope you have another hour booked for us. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, dude, you, anyway, you're, you're, you're the sponsor right of the show. You Friday. do whatever you want. Yeah, we're we're rolling right into Friday. Friday again is is the big boys race. That's where um, you know the icon guys that are involved in the Overland experience. We're probably gonna peel off and attach ourselves to the race effort. Yep. yep. Um, but at that point, with with let's call it one and a half days on the lake bed, uh, we hope to have several group leaders that are able to take larger groups of people around and check out Chocolate Thunder, Backdoor, Jackhammer, Sledgehammer, or just hang out in Hammertown if you want to. Uh, I think it's, they've got four me- uh, Jumbotrons in Hammertown this year. Mm-hmm. So if you just want to go stand around Hammertown and hang out and be comfortable and, and watch the race on the live stream, which is an awesome spectator opportunity, uh, that's always an easy one. Um, or if you want to bounce around and do a little wheeling in between and, and meet some new people, then we encourage uh, anyone involved with our gig to, to go check out the, the hot spot. Yeah, so. and, we, and we, Jeremy and I talked about that a little bit. Uh, we're going to try to participate in that to some extent and maybe take a group out to one of the, the op, uh, obstacles and, and kind of kind of make a uh, make a group effort out of it. So uh, we will be participating in that. We just don't know exactly exactly what we're going to be doing and when. Uh, but my expectation is that I will have been uh, someone else will have showed me where that these things are so that I won't <laughs> get lost going back some other time. But I will probably get lost. So uh, we'll let Jose lead. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're doing our best behind the scenes. Uh, I've been uh, just kind of a, a, a wreck. Uh, <laughs> but Rory, uh, Rory with trigger controller, Tyler, and, and like I said, Caleb, his dad, everyone's kind of been teaming up to help alleviate some of this stuff. And, and we're going to get kind of group runs scheduled or, or group leaders and all that good stuff. So, uh, in between now and when you see us next Wednesday, we'll have a little more organization. But, uh, but yeah, this is, this is going to be a great time. I mean, even if you do get lost and, and, and kind of don't know where you're at. It, it's hard to have a bad time at King of the Ham. It oh, yeah. really is. And, and uh, just <laughs> the, the handful of times that I've been out to the event, you can, uh, I mean, it's a wide open desert. If you haven't been out there, J- Johnson Valley is huge and wide open. You drive around, but you can see like up on a hill, 4,000 people standing and parked and filming. And you're like, there's something <laughs> over there. Let's go see what it is. I mean, that's my first time out there. That's literally what I did. We kind of drove around and kind of followed people, groups of people. And you'd, you'd come up on an obstacle and go, oh, it looks like something's happening over here. And there's 4,000 people taking photos. So, um, yep, yeah, we, that's it, honestly, the, the probably one of the, the most fun and, and best ways to experience skiing hammers is go where the crowds are going. Yeah, and we we you hit we'll it on the head. There's probably something happening. Yeah, and we'll be doing that. We'll be we'll be uh, you know coordinating with you guys, and we'll be you know we've got a handful of people that are probably going to come out with us. We've talked about us right now. The plan is we're leaving Wednesday afternoon. We'll be out there Wednesday, coming home Saturday morning. Uh, you know, logistics are still being dialed in, but that's our plan. We're expecting to come home. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you never know. I mean, assuming, who knows? Assuming. Something could happen. And, and honestly, I'm, I'm looking at the schedule in front of me, and as official as this can be, uh, our Saturday is kind of wide open as well. 
I think King of the Hammers, I think they've got a band, um, a very big band coming in Saturday night. I've already talked um, about this band. So, I already know who it is. Yeah, Matt thinks it's Guns N' Roses. <laughs> it's not Rub Lime. It's not Rub Lime. <laughs> oh, I, I, I haven't even heard of those guys. Uh, oh, that's funny. I, I don't yeah, know with who Chrome. Rub Lime is. Rub Lime with Chrome. It's not <laughs> that. And my, my brother texted me. He's like, was Jose serious about Rub Lime? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> So, uh, oh, then now I'm excited, uh, when, you know. Uh, but <laughs> oh, look at but, but honestly, that's our 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 big goal with with our event that we're putting on out there is um, isn't so much. I've I, I been mean, King of the Hammers is a hard place to really give a pure experience for for outright overlanding um, in, in that level. I mean, the winds get crazy, the dust kicks up. There's all sorts of people. I mean. Literally, there is a small city that pops up out there. Yeah. Um, so what we want to do is just provide an area that's ours and very clearly ours. And for us to create a little mini community and just meet new people or meet friends that you haven't seen since your last off-road trip, we just want to put a bunch of like-minded people together who mm-hmm. like doing the same stuff in the same area for a couple of days and get get everyone to experience this awesome, awesome race together yeah. as a group. And, and, if and I that's could, really the underlying goal. Yeah, and if I could kind of uh, extrapolate a little bit here. So I equate this to... Uh, oh, spell extrapolate. No, 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 no. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> um, so there was a period of time where I was, I was heavy in the motorcycle community and there was, there's the, there's the, the sport bike guys and the cruiser guys. And then there's the hardcore Harley guys, right? And anybody, that, yeah, exactly. <laughs> anybody that wasn't <laughs> in the hardcore Harley group, like was intimidated. They just thought that like they're all tatted up and they're, you know, they're, they're like hardened. They're the coolest people. They're super nice. And they're they're willing to help. Like you look at them and you might be intimidated, but they're not intimidating once you talk to them. And I feel like this is kind of that dichotomy where you look at the the rock crawlers and the hardcore racers, and they're like the the like the more rough and tumble off roaders, and then the overlanders are a little bit more to your point refined and looking for some structure. And there might be some like I, I don't know, like oh I don't know if I can relate to those people. I will tell you, you can relate to those people. Those racers are 100%. awesome. They like once you get out there, once you're in the dirt, it's not you're a rock crawler and you're you're an overlander. It's like we're all off roaders out here having fun. We're all oh, yeah. enthusiasts. You hit it on the head. It's You just go up and talk to anybody, and you'll pretty much find something in common with anybody on the lake bed, it yeah. seems like. It's, honestly, uh, you know, I, I think I'm relatively new or whatever to the off-road scene. Or Is that a thing? Like, are you or do people... I, I honestly don't know. That's an honest question. Like, is overlanding? Because uh, I see it as all one big thing. I I love it all. Like, I I, I have an interest yeah, in everything. But, you know, and I'm, well, I, I think Cody hit it on the head. Like, honestly, that was the best analogy that I've heard in a while. Wow. Uh, yeah. You, you motorcycle job. guys, we're trying to get your tatted up Harley dudes that are hanging out at the bar at, at one o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> to hang out with your GS guys and your, your BMW GS owners uh, and your, yeah. your triumph owners and this and that and the other, but we're, we're there. We all share passion for the same thing. Mm-hmm, we, yeah. we love wheeling, whether that's a different in a approach, really nice brand new gladiator or in a beat to shit Toyota pickup. That's <laughs> barely a Toyota pickup anymore. Yeah. Yeah. The route is different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I would equate it to, to Matt, going back to your question. I would equate it to just about any uh, niche you could find, right? So if you look at custom cars, there's the there's the low riders with the spoke wheels, there's and mini the, trucks, and the mini trucks, and the classic the Mustangs. Like, and, like yeah. there may be a one of those groups that thinks the other ones, those are guys are a little rambunctious. We're not going to hang. But you know what? I guarantee, if you took my father in law, who's in his seventies, who's got two custom, uh, two fully restored classic vehicles, he would find something in common with the guy that just put hydraulics on his Impala. Because because there's a passion there. There's a passion yeah. for the, the the amount of work and effort mm-hmm. it takes, and the science and the whole passion thing. Passion for motorsports, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. I and I would say that yes, Matt. You're, there are there are I think there are factions. There are different factions in the off road world, whether it be enduro versus motocross, mm-hmm. um, uh, rock crawlers versus overlanders, and you know we all as a and God we're getting all kind of crazy now. But like, as a as a as a human race, we try to like be tribal, like we, we stick to the people that do the same uh, thing we true. do. But I guarantee you got to come you, out of your shell yeah, if you, know, you step out of your shell and mm-hmm. you come to an event like this i guarantee well i'm not gonna guarantee i don't believe that nobody goes out there with the intent 
to have a problem or to start crap with somebody. There yeah. might be some gentle ribbing about the Ford you're driving, but <laughs> exactly. Everybody, <laughs> but everybody's out there to celebrate the off-road world and celebrate the opportunity to be on the lake bed for four or five days at a time and just enjoy the hell out of yeah. it. And if you have any intimidation whatsoever, I would say head out find us we will be out there you can hang with us and we'll only make fun of you a little bit a hundred percent i I love it that's that's perfect cody and and that's that's what we want to do is just provide a place for people to call home park your stuff and then go be as adventurous as you want if you want to go hang out one in the morning with the guys at back door just breaking shit left and right. <laughs> yeah. Then go do it. We'll we'll take you there. I love to go there. That's yeah. one of my favorite. Uh, things I'll be to there. Do yeah. Hammers and watch yeah, all these guys some, just wreck their stuff. I love it. There's some prime people. But watching if you just want to hang out around the fire and, and you know uh, let's you know crank up Wonder Wall or something like that. I'm down for that, <laughs> dude. <laughs> what's, you, I don't know which one I choose now. Oh. Oh. Wonder Wall. <laughs> Hang out by the fire wait, wait, or go wait. break shit at one in the morning. I'll, Take out I'll, the French I'll press. Bring the marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> yeah, Matt's gonna Matt's not gonna know what to do with himself. Uh, but I, I'll have to actually make a schedule. Like, okay, well, wh- when's <laughs> the Wonder Wall coming on, and what's the best time to see people break stuff? <laughs> while while I'm, I'm playing, sharp. as soon as Wonder Wall's over, I'm I'm out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I'm playing uh, Foo Fighters, Matt's gonna be gone. Oh, oh gone. yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> out. I'm, I'm out. Gone. I've out. heard enough Foo Fighters. I like the Foo Fighters. I used to. (laughs) (laughs) No, but in in all honesty, that 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 is the goal here is just to um, you know invite some people out that that may have been again I don't want to say scared or whatever, but just intimidated or unsure of this event. Give them a place to come hang out and then venture out as far as you want. We're gonna give you all the tools to get as far as you want, or we're gonna invite you to the Icon Semi. Um, you can hang out there with us if you're, if you're not comfortable going out to all these places on your own, or if you are, just go for it. Just bounce. Um, we're going to, we're going to communicate radio frequencies that we can all get a hold of each other on. Um, we're going to have, you know, contact info, there's coordinates that have been uh, distributed, all this good stuff. Um, so just come out and, and get as get as crazy or not crazy as you want to. That's fine. Yeah. Can I can I get a guarantee that you guys will give me the correct radio frequency? <laughs> so I'm just not talking like to myself. <laughs> we'll all be sitting at the Overland Experience watching Matt drive or, around or, trying to find yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You'll just hear me talk like hey guys where are you it's like the middle of the night and you guys are just sitting at the campfire laughing like oh that guy's like, don't shh, don't say don't anything. say anything Turn, put the fire out put the fire out yeah. <laughs> it's messed up uh, i don't say that like it's happened before no or we wouldn't do that we, no, no, no we wouldn't never do that. um so then uh and then what's so what's saturday uh saturday is, is as far as my schedule looks like um or, or sorry as far as what my schedule looks like it's pretty much an opportunity to clean up, pack up, wake up a little late, assuming that um, that Tom comes out and wins the race and we party nice. well and yeah. easy. Um, you know, it, it's your chance to kind of recover from that, wake up. Uh, we're going to clean up camp, obviously pack it in, pack it out. We're very much, uh, we always try to stay on top of that. Tread lightly. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. I, I mean, just being respectful, that's, that's the biggest part of all this stuff. So. Yep. Uh, clean yep. up camp, get everyone dialed. I, I'm hoping that enough people stick around in the Saturday morning where we can get a good group photo. Um, we've got some cool opportunities to make that happen. So hang out, smile big. We'll get a group photo. If anybody wants to stick around and wheel or explore, uh, King of the Motos is going on that day. So oh, if nice. you just want to sit back and spectate some oh, more racing, wow. yeah. that's just absolutely insane. You can watch King of the Motos. Um, yeah, you can you go wheel around over to like Cougar Views. Yep, exactly. Yep. Yep. If, if so, I brought my dirt bike, more, could I compete? Saturday is kind of a non I, I have technically noon is, is when we're saying, hey, everyone get back home. But honestly, if it goes longer than that, then we'll hang out. We're, we're enthusiasts yeah. at, at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we work for Icon. We do this and that. We go to these events. But we really do just love being in trucks and, and being out in the dirt. That's, yeah. <laughs> it makes us tick. Um, we're just going to be off-roading and banging around most of the day, so. And yeah. and if Everybody's I recall, if I recall Saturday, trying to get off the lake bed is kind of a you're not just gonna, you're not going to hit the road. I mean, it, it, it's it's four hours of people with RVs and trailers trying to get to the highway, right? I think last year, I uh, gosh, I 
we parked whatever truck we were in. I ran back to Dylan's RV, took a shower, jumped back in the truck, and we didn't even move five feet. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, 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 it can be a kind of a nightmare getting off the lake bed. So for some people, you might find relaxation and just going out and wheeling or hanging out or, you know, finding a creative way off the lake bed, maybe. Yeah, we so, yeah. we discussed and, that, and uh, we're going to try. Yeah, and it might be a little different yep. this year with the event extending one day further than it did oh, in previous yeah. years. That's true. Mm. So we're kind of playing it by ear. Um, we've got our big semi truck and everything out there, so getting it off the lake bed might be a challenge on Saturday, but we're just going to be hanging out and wheeling around and having fun. Sorry, honey, I'll come home Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that sounds like a pretty good plan right there. If you're Sometimes trying to convi- happens, man, if happens. you're trying to convince me. Yeah. You're doing a pretty good job just hanging out all day Saturday. <laughs> We've got all sorts of... So real quick, I, I, I don't want to move on too quick, but I, I do want to I do want to plug the, the people that have been helping make this happen. Um, yeah, absolutely. Real fast, the Icon yeah, we'll them out after. wouldn't be possible without Rory and Trigger Controller. Um, wouldn't be possible without, you know, obviously Tyler and Caleb and pretty much everybody at Icon Vehicle Dynamics. Um, uh, LG CTS, Sarah and Teresa over there have, have given us an op- awesome opportunity to hang out and have a good time on Wednesday night. Yes, excited. Uh, Advanced Shelter Systems or ShipPod, if you might know them, they're going to come out in a big way. Uh, we're going to have some really cool stuff. So if you do come across our campsite, you're, you're going to know because you're going to see a bunch of these lunar lander looking things out there <laughs> that are, that are called the ship pods. Um, they've come in a big way to help support our area. And, uh, again, Casey highlights is, uh, putting on the bonfire for us Thursday night. They're, they're always, I mean, if you look at icon vehicles, most of them are outfitted with Casey highlights products. We just have a really good relationship with those guys. So, uh, just want to give credit where credit's due. And if I forgot anybody, I'm sorry, but this has not been just an icon thing. Um, this has been a, a very big group effort. So I appreciate everybody who's been a part of it so far and appreciate everyone who will be a part of it come next Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, uh, I am so excited about this event, uh, you know, and e- e- I was excited about the event prior to uh, us getting to a point where we, we had this partnership, but, you know, being able to hang out with you guys and um, the team from LGE CTS and, you know, getting to talk to Rory and the things he's got going on. Uh, I am I am over the moon excited about getting out on the desert. Uh, we are. Uh, yes, well, we are. I didn't want to speak for you. I don't know if you're bummed about the whole thing. I mean, no, I'm pretty. I'm actually I'm super stoked. <laughs> I don't you know if you, you can You can't see. tell that I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you look at Jose. That's you right. can't even you're tell he's breathing. Right I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> Maybe you have Are Asperger's. you coming out with a sway bar or without a sway bar? Or are we going to pull it off? <laughs> 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 so um let's, I, I let's, gotta know. I let's really cut know. it out. Let's cut it out. <laughs> like, well, you know what? We oh, it we, might uh, break on its own. <laughs> so we we oh. we, uh, we oh. so we put the front sway bar back on when we did <clears throat> the, the the installation, uh primarily taking it to to get the alignment, all that stuff, right? So I'll I'll uh-huh. ask I'll ask you the question. Do you want me to show up with a sway bar and we can take it off w- one of the days and go back and forth and test? Yeah, yeah. Let's okay. do that. That'll okay. be that'll be a good opportunity to, to rent yeah. on something. Okay. It, it, uh, an off road trip never feels natural unless you have to rent on something at least okay. a little bit. Okay. I'm, I'm bringing yeah, the frontier, least, so. Least, uh, <laughs> we can at least disconnect the sway bar links and zip time to the sway bar. You know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm fine so with that. Crazy. Um, so yeah, that we'll, 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 I'll roll out with the sway bar. We'll hit a, hit a couple obstacles and then disconnect it and run it again and see if there's any change in the articulation. I'm excited to see that sway bars. are. Yeah, I, I definitely want to want to see the difference. I, I think that that thing is a, a whole different track with, uh, with a lack of a sway bar. I can't say that legally. There's, there's no icon recommendation here. You should never pull off your sway bar. No, no officials but, uh, listen to this yeah, podcast. Well, and, out, and so look, don't worry about we, that. You're we, fine. I, I'm not even joking. We need to start opening the show with a disclaimer that says, don't do any of the things Please that we don't. say because <laughs> we're stupid. Yeah. Um, so don't do any of the things that we tell take you to do. Our just advice flat out. with a grain of salt, whatever that means. Exactly. I don't even know what don't that even means. take our advice. <laughs> don't, don't even do it. Just, yeah, yeah. That's just, it. Just slap that in the beginning of the show. Yeah, at the beginning of every show, it needs. I need to get. I need to get Ryan. My brother in law made the theme song. I need to get Ryan to redo the theme song and just sing, sing, the sing the lyrics. <laughs> like, sing, <laughs> trail chasers don't do what they tell you to do. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we also, avoid warranty. We avoid warranties. Yes. Yes. Uh, so that. Yep. I mean that. 
again, I, I think the uh, the week at Hammers is going to be uh, extremely memorable. I cannot wait. Uh, we've also got a couple other things we've talked about. One of those was the uh, um, uh, over what is it? The Four Wheeler Adventure Expo, March seventh and eighth in Costa Mesa, California. We'll be at that with you guys, right? Yep, that's going to be an awesome event. Uh, we're really, really excited about that. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit different flavor than your typical off-road expo or anything like that that we have out here in SoCal. I think this is going to be a little bit more of an ode to Overland Expo. I, I, I certainly hope so. A lot of French um, presses. But maybe somewhere in between. You know, maybe somewhere in between. A little less khaki. You know, I, I'm not sure, but we're really, really pumped for Adventure Expo, especially being right here in Wait SoCal, is which is, you know, you've got surfers, you've got mountain bikers, you've got overlanders I, and off-roaders, yeah. you've got all these different niches that are going to be represented here. So we're really, really excited. You, you're and we're coming it. in big. I mean, we're, we're going to pull the semi out. I think you guys are setting up the orange room in front of our tractor. Am I not allowed to disclose no, that? That's that's one hundred percent. We will well, be, now. It's happening. Yeah, you can't now take I it have back. to. Thank you bro. can't take it back. Thanks, yeah. bro. I mean, yeah. uh, <laughs> we've got till March to ruin it for you. So, but yeah, the, the intention was to put the orange room right there next to the icon tent, so that we can do some content from there. And that disclaimer you're yeah. just talking about, you made it sound like there was a dress code or something. <laughs> <Do> I got, <laughs> can I can I wear my tactical dad shorts? Oh, that, that's expected. I mean, you can totally, totally. Okay. It's, it's Adventure Expo. You I don't know, want. I don't want to wear whatever to, you adventure in. Do I have to go or, shopping? Or jean shorts and New Balances, either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. They, have, they have to be white New Balances, though. They have to be white. Oh, yeah. Wait, K Swiss, the freshest. Do I have to go to Nordstrom's in order to go to this event and buy a bunch of clothes? <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me. Uh, we'll, no, we'll figure I, out your I dress think, code. I, I'm really looking forward to this one. I, I think it's going to be uh, a perfect middle ground in between an event like uh, Overland Expo West, um, which we love. <laughs> you know, I have no problems with Overland Expo West. It's just, um, you know, it's, it's very heavily saturated in Overland Adventure kind of event. I think I think what Four Wheeler Network's putting on is, is going to be a nice middle ground and really looking forward to it. So. Yeah, yeah. So you guys got clearance for a 909er like me. Yeah. And go, a Coors Light drinker? To, to go <laughs> deep, deep into Orange County, right? Yeah. It's like at the fairgrounds. <laughs> yeah. As long as I <laughs> got waivers. I think you're okay. I, I married have, in. I married in. So Well, uh, that's you. Yeah, that's I know. You. I'm saying, I, two I, other people on the podcast. Yeah, I'm just dude. saying, I'm covered because I married in. I don't know how you uh, guys are going to get into the OC. I'll have like an icon patch or something. <laughs> like I just watch yeah. it and they'll be like yeah, yeah. all yeah. right i guess wait let you in wayne and garth <laughs> um and then after after march there's a bunch of that you mentioned overland expo west uh, uh easter jeep safari there's fj summit there's a, a whole list of uh of events that we want to go to and yeah. if we didn't have full-time jobs <laughs> we would go to um so you know as as Unless the, you guys are hiring yeah <laughs> well, well we just tried to get a job with syndicate off-road uh 20 minutes ago yeah, too I, so got to leave the doors open. Some, you you never open know. Doors. We'll take what we can get. Um, but but we will be <laughs> as as the year progresses and more and more of these events start coming clo- uh, get closer. We'll start you know strategizing about which ones we can attend and how where we're going to be and and you know obviously we'll talk about that on the show and you guys will be on the show to have those conversations. Uh, but I am looking forward to uh, all of those events that are coming up. Specifically, st- I think kicking it off at Hammers with the Overland Expo uh, experience is going to be epic. I cannot wait for this. Yeah, this is this is gonna be awesome. Um, I, I mean, it's kind of a, a shot out of the cannon, but uh, but we're we're riding that. We're we're going for it. We're very excited. It is uh, quite literally, I think, the perfect place to kind of have. What do we want to call this? Organized chaos, or yeah, yeah, organized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, this is gonna be a fun event. And it, it, again, it, King of the Hammers is a hard place to come out and just be mad the whole time no so and it, 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 i don't think it's gonna happen you're, you're gonna have a good time at least one of the days so <laughs> at the very least, looking forward to that it's very entertaining so yeah and I hopefully mean, uh, case, go away with an experience so that's all we're going for yeah and hopefully uh we'll yeah. still have you as a sponsor at, at the end of the weekend <laughs> well hold, hold on hold on <laughs> Uh, don't, there, don't have too many of those uh, Hangar 24 Betty ideas. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude. You gotta limit look, those to a couple. 
And look, whatever <laughs> these two, American lager. <laughs> whatever these <laughs> two say at the campfire, please do not hold that against us. Like that's off air. That you we're can't. Just, we're working on other sponsors. Me and Jose are trying for another podcast, <laughs> and we're looking for other sponsors. Yeah, yeah you're campfire. looking for aliens. To <laughs> yeah, sponsor. tin foil. That's tin right. Foil. <laughs> um, yeah, and and you know, going back to like you were saying, worst, worst case experience you haven't experienced. Johnson Valley. I mean, show up there with a tent. Find a place to to stake up and have a good time. I mean, that's literally you just happen to be, you know, either twenty yards or two hundred yards Dude, away from a whole will group give of you people. A beer if you yes. walk around, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Yep. it's going to be awesome. So if you're if you're if you're at all thinking about doing it, do it. Um, I've gone out there uh, the last three years, just like on Friday, like take off early Friday morning, take the day off, take off early Friday morning, get out, wheel, meet up with some people, go to see some events, take off when it's dark. I mean, it's you can have a great time if you just went for the day. Even if you went like Friday and spent oh, yeah. the night to Saturday, definitely, hundred percent, a hundred percent. And the biggest, biggest word of advice for anyone listening that might be coming out: just the elements are out there. It's going to be cold. Yeah, it's going to be windy. Going to be dusty. Yeah, you prepare for that. You're going to be okay. Yeah, bring bring goggles. Wear goggles, no matter how yep. uncool you 100%. think it is. Wear your goggles. Oh, well, dude, I'm glad you just said that. I, I sent you the. I sent you. Dude, the, that was great. I already put some on my Amazon. Uh, I sent you a. Cart. I sent you a. There was. <laughs> What'd a, you send me? There was a link to tips for King of Hammers, yeah. and I sent it to you that said, make sure you've got water, lip balm because it's dry out there. Wear goggles, no matter what. That have, net gator. Have a net gator. Yeah, but you don't Tom read. You don't read shit. You don't. Think one of those. The plan two of those things. Yeah. He, oh. <laughs> oh. Was uh, that? Cody's big on chapstick. You guys got oh, a chapstick. Yeah. <laughs> you got an invite. You will get a neck gator and you will get some chapstick. So we nice. got to oh those two my god. Nice. A neck okay. gator with a very. Uh, Limited edition Conway's mustache on it. Nice. <laughs> I need right. that in my life. But yeah, Matt, Matt won't read anything I send. Like he doesn't. He, he immediately <laughs> I just figure you're like. What what's he get what what is this all about? There, yeah. there can't be anything of importance. No, in he here. immediately assumes it's worthless. Anything Matt that comes Harvard, from me. What Matt. is this coordinates? <laughs> <laughs> what, do I now need? No <laughs> what do I need these for? I'm just gonna follow you wherever you go, anyhow. Foxtrot uniform, my friend. <laughs> uh, Uncle Charlie Foxtrot Kilo. uniform to you, sir. I say. There you go. Uh, that was a good jam. Yes. That, thank you. All right. Dude, we're going to have a great time. It's going to be. And again, uh, we're not held liable for what we say or do no. outside of. Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, I'll be I'll be in one of the shift pods asleep by eight forty five. So yes. <laughs> we'll, we'll make him we'll make him one cocktail. Yeah, and it's it's over, Johnny. Uh, He's just done. Oh, uh, and well, then it's time to go see uh, the back door. People breaking stuff. Whoa, I'll, whoa, be there. Hey. I'll be dude. I'll be there until two in the morning. I, I know you until, will until there's nobody. Nobody's run that route for an hour. Like I'll just be there. Yeah, waiting. but Matt's gonna be so drunk. Man, I'm gonna go get my truck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, he's just yelling, driver. I want to see the footage. There's going to be like a viral video of this <laughs> stock frontier going to make it up back chocolate back door or chocolate. Thunder. Amazing. It's going to be an amazing video. <laughs> oh, crap, guys. Look, seriously, we we appreciate all of the support and and you guys coming on as sponsors is huge for us and we really really are humbled by it um we are we are extremely excited about what the future holds especially 12 days from now um honestly from that uh from the uh king's ranch and having to run run those vehicles i have a large percentage of my free thought has thought about (laughs) I got to get my truck to drive like that. Somehow, I didn't even realize like the the fact that that was a real thing. Like this is a, a stock vehicle, you know, or, or yeah, this a can, production vehicle. Yes, this can happen was so eye-opening to me and such a uh oh my god, uh I this has to happen. This has to and and uh, you know, even going through the course I'm thinking, man, I'd be two-wheel drive right now. Uh, traction control off <laughs> and I would be drifting these corners railing over this section here jumping here uh, and so I, I'm so excited to be uh, have a connection with you guys I don't even know what yeah and, and like thank you I, 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 I had a blast thank driving, you guys because it, it, sharing the shit out of you. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know if I posted one of those clips. Um, there, at one point, 
uh, Tyler was driving and I'm giggling like a little girl and like, like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And he's jumping and he's just like one hand on the wheel in the tundra, yeah. just yeah. flooring it around stuff. Oh, and my I God. swear to you, like I tingled inside. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. we, uh, good we, time. We, we tingled, we tingled <laughs> together, brother. <laughs> what, what was that? Um, oh man. Oh, yeah. Uh, so uh, I no, stunned no. him. I know. <laughs> Honestly, the, the the excitement and the the feedback that we got from that day w- was so awesome. And, and I don't mean to 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 I don't mean this in a in a negative way, but you you guys just are the perfect rep- representation, I think, of, of the every man's off road. I, I, oh, yeah. I really do. I, I don't think take that, that as a I negative at all. all. No, <laughs> no, we we hundred percent. Yeah. Yep. And that's yeah, yeah. It's, it's just you, get, you guys represent the off-road community at large. I, I really yeah, feel like weekend like here. that's true. And, and just your reaction and getting that ask in the seat feedback of, of the Icon product kind of at work was just was was just so cool to see. And and Tyler and I have been riding that wave of of, of kind of riding the stoke, if you will, <laughs> since, since since you guys have. And that's and awesome. it's just. It's kind of obvious. I mean, this partnership just kind of needs to happen. Yeah. Um, because again, we just we enjoy the same thing. We're on the we're on the industry side of it. And you're on, you're on the, uh, I guess, industry. But the uh, what, what side, what, what side are we, we on? No, no, we're we're more on the <laughs> consumer side. And and to your point, when you like, I wholly embrace that every man off-roader oh, yeah. uh, moniker because i mean we we wheel what we drive i mean at this point all three of us are driving our trucks to work every single day we're taking them out on the trail every single day we did the installation on the 2019 ford ranger in my driveway we did it on, yeah. my yeah, we did it on, on the cruiser in the driveway we are not we are not people that that are uh, um you know money is no object let's go get a you know sixty thousand dollar truck and put another twenty thousand into it we are people that work hard for our money we we the money we do have we, we want have to, to be invest. strategic yes with it. like we want to invest in something that we trust a, a product that we feel is going to give us the performance we want with longevity and you know our money goes to icon for that specific reason and and that's to your point that's where the partnership is because we truly believe we are every men off-roaders and we truly believe in you and your product and your company and we're excited to be partnered with you well that's that's awesome to hear Cody and the, and the whole crew. And, and that's why it's so easy for us to go, Hey, this, this, these are a group of guys we want to partner with and, and put our name on. So super, super, super excited. I can't say it enough. Just, I, I know Tyler's pumped on, on this as well. And, and the rest oh, yeah. of the crew, you know, Definitely. we haven't just kept this a secret. Everyone, at, everyone at icons kind of been in the know and, and we're kind of finding the right fits for the right people. You know, we'd love to have Dylan on the show more often and yeah. answer questions mm. or, or the tech heavy questions that people want answers to. And, and Scott, who's, who's one of our, uh, mm-hmm. gosh, Scott's worked every position with an icon. He's, he's been there, uh, since day one, pre day one. And, and, uh, Scott's a great guy to bring on the show for not only tech info, but, but, you know, just a kind of a different point of view. And gosh, I think yeah. everybody at icon could, could, <laughs> somewhat come on your show and talk about something that's relevant to oh, yeah. uh, absolutely again your your everyday off so. Yeah and, and mm-hmm. just walking through the uh the factory, the the warehouse there the other day, like you introduced me to the guys that were assembling the shocks. Even those guys, I mean they're putting their hands on that stuff every day. And and we don't really go down the route that much with Jose. Jose has a has a hand in some of that, but like just the like all of that, looking at the the installation and, and fabrication center and the you know with the God awful amount of inventory in that warehouse like i i was flabbergasted it like I, we're walking through this warehouse and i'm like there's a billion things in here that every off-roader in the world is like i want that <laughs> and that and that and that and it just i mean i love the the idea that you know we get the opportunity to get some insight from you guys in stuff that we find interesting 100 percent, yeah and and we love to to kind of tell that story too so this is this is a match made in heaven, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. And, until uh, Thursday night, yeah, I was just uh, Saturday morning. morning. And we're standing at the campfire. <laughs> we should, Jose starts talking hey, about man. what. Do you, what does that look like? And then uh, we start d- delving or going down a. <laughs> I, will, a I will say. A, po- a, I will say whatever 
happens at King of the Hammers stays at King of the Hammers. Oh, okay. let's, thank you. Let's hope so. At least yeah. after after dark. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to start exactly. a new show called Hammers After Dark. Oh. Okay, we can tell, and people can Wait, call in be anonymously. Real, you got to be real. Uh, you got to explain uh, in no, the listen, description listen, about what the show is going to be We'll do a segment called Hammers After Ranger Dark. And people, confessions? Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, people could call Hammer in anonymously what? and tell, uh, tell us what happened to them in Hammers After Dark. <laughs> like, that's going to be I a take segment. take their confessional, like, Oh, no, that's a different network, dude. I don't think that's iTunes. I think that's something else. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Okay, guys. Well, look, I uh, we've had you on the phone long enough. Uh, we are going to have you guys on more than uh, more than enough in the next uh, coming months and year. And I really do appreciate all this. Um, for those of you that... Uh, uh, we... I, 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 well, I'm speaking for, I don't want to speak for you. I mean, I, I know that you don't like Jeremy that much. And we're just, we're trying to, <laughs> yeah, but you didn't have to know that. <laughs> I, hey, I he's only, still on the phone. I, I oh, don't stalk him on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, you know where he lives? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were in Tom Way's house. Bros, <laughs> uh, Nissan Bros. Yeah, we'll, we'll have, we have that's to have a right. whole nother conversation about that's that. Small, yes. That's a small population. You got to stick together. <laughs> that's right. Well, oh, there's two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> right. Matt and Jeremy. All right. Well, and then you holding can hang with the majority or you could. Stand out in a crowd. Baby. Yeah, right. okay. Oh. Holding it down. <laughs> um, uh, tips, tips of the spear. <laughs> tips of the spear. If if you guys are interested in in attending Hammers, uh, like I said, we will be out there. Reach out to us if you're not sure what to do. We'll be connecting with the Icon team. We'll be hanging out with them quite a bit over the course of uh, the Hammers. Uh, Nexon's going to be out there with with their full representation. We'll be spending some time with them as well. Uh, so there is there's an opportunity for you to go out there and experience this. Uh, uh, we will be heading out Wednesday, coming home sometime Saturday. It sounds like maybe later than I thought on yeah, Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, you feel free to reach out, and I, I guarantee you this will be a good time. If you are interested at all, uh, come out, see what's going on in Hammers, and get the opportunity to meet up with the guys at Icon and really get your hands on their product and see why we're so excited about it. So uh, with that, guys, uh, I I can't thank you enough. Matt and Jose and I are really excited about thank this. Thank you for including yeah. me and Jose in your... Uh, 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 we are really excited about gratitude. this. Gratitude. And, and uh, somebody gets a stage five and all of a sudden... <laughs> Dude, look, look, if you guys could keep up with me, it'd be one thing. Oh. But uh, <laughs> I, I should I should stop because I haven't even gotten it on dirt like, yeah, I mean, I once. But um, the uh, So we will be connecting with you guys. Uh, we'll be in contact between now and Wednesday and let you know when we're going to be on the on the lake bed and go from there but thanks so much for joining us tonight and we look forward to having more and more conversations in the future yeah no problem thank you guys for for the opportunity and i don't want to speak over tyler but we're, we're just so excited tyler yeah i agree agree 100 percent, man super excited for the partnership in the next year and uh can't wait to see what comes of it awesome thank awesome. you awesome thanks guys thank you Now we're live. Okay. All right. Uh, I will say mission. I will say earlier, uh, right before we had our conversation, I went, "All right, are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Jose goes. <gasps> <laughs> he has no mic I etiquette. I do. I think I have uh, Asperger's. You do. You have Asperger's. <laughs> I don't, I'm not even kidding. Um, <laughs> no social cues. Uh, oh man. No feelings. Uh, I know. No emotional. It's, it's, it, but we love you. It's it's okay. Thank you. But um, you have the the greatest uh, conspiracy theory knowledge of conspiracies, and that's why I love you. I know, yeah. I I know. You guys yes. don't even need me. You guys don't even need me. Uh, okay, so let's get this up and running. How is everybody doing tonight? Uh, I'm doing great. Okay. I'm doing great. So why would why would I be doing great? Well, hold yeah, on, why are hold you on. so chippy right now? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I, I guess we should start off with. Why would you be super happy right now? Uh, I am super happy. We're doing it. Wait, we're uh, so people that are paying all dozen people that are <laughs> watching right now. <laughs> go ahead and, and why, do you have something to tell us? So come, come on out. I would like. To, I would like. I mean, I don't know if anybody come on out thought of that this was going to happen. No, nope, nobody. Nobody knew this day would come. But uh, mm. I am the proud, proud owner. Of a 2019 Ford Ranger XLT <laughs> FX4, loud and proud, it is sitting in my driveway as we speak, mm -hmm. and I'm even more proud of it because it is currently sitting on 
a Stage 5 Icon vehicle dynamics suspension system with Icon alloys wrapped in Nexon Rodian MTX tires. I tell you what, I got in that truck today when I picked it up from the shop, and I had a I had a feeling deep down in my in my soul of that, that, that happiness. <laughs> I yeah. like it. Urgh, I did it. I did it. I did the Ranger. And the reason that have all, you talked to your dad about this? No, Does he think I know lesser of you. <laughs> well, he's he was the one that wanted he wanted the Ranger at one point. Oh, that's right. He's a um, person. And part of the reason that the truck is sitting <laughs> on Icon Vehicle Dynamics suspension system is because when this area when this uh, episode goes live, when you guys hear it on Thursday, you will hear our interview with Jeremy and Tyler from Icon because they are the new sponsors of the show. Newest, newest, newest yes. sponsor. Yes. So the Trail Chasers podcast presented. Presented by Nexon Tire and Icon Vehicle Dynamics. It is happening. Like, we could not be more happy about I the, couldn't. the partnership with these guys. You'll hear in the uh, in the interview that we did with them, it, you know, kindred spirits, just having a good time, able to talk yep. to them. And we are, we are like... I, what's the? We need to start a clock, a countdown clock for King of Hammers. Like, oh, oh my God, yeah. The, you know what? Time's going to slow down now because I'm looking forward to it even I, that much I more. Know. It's like work every yeah, day, it's like a week and a half away. That's like forever. But think about it, dude. We are an off-road podcast that is sponsored by a major tire uh, company and a major suspension company. Hey, cheers, guys. Yeah, awesome. Good cheers. job, guys. I don't know what we did. But. Yeah, good job, good job. So, and thank you to you, fair listener. That's. Uh, uh, watching the show right now live on Instagram because we do this every week and listening and downloading um, a but, big yeah, we, we talked I mean we kind of touched on it last week when we were talking about um, we've been touching on it for a couple I know of weeks, I know I but 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 last week when we talked about the download numbers and how we're seeing the growth and and how the uh, the show is getting larger and it's spreading out over you know a, a larger geographic area yeah um, all of that played into these conversations I yeah, mean if it, it wasn't for the listeners we would that wouldn't have happened no, absolutely. So we are uh, we are humbled by the fact that you download this show and listen to it, and then even well, more- they download it. We don't know if they yeah, listen true, to it. True, true. We know it's downloaded. <laughs> we don't know that it's listened or to how it. long they've listened to it. But yeah, uh, but we we are we are humbled by the fact that we've been able to partner with some really good companies, uh, Nexon, um, uh, Icon. Uh, you'll hear Syndicate. Uh, say you'll hear a conversation in this episode with Danny from Syndicate. They're doing amazing things. We're watching them grow. We're doing some partnership with them. They are working on some graphics for uh, the new Ranger. So the so as we're recording this, it's Monday the 27th. A week from Wednesday is February 5th, and that's King of Hammers. And we're all going out to King of Hammers. And I'm hoping that by the time we get out to King and of Hammers. And you should go to King of Hammers, too. Go, 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 go. Do call, it. call us, go with us, whatever. Um, but we are we are hoping to have the uh, the Ranger completely. I am hoping to have the Ranger completely dialed in. Uh Syndicate is working on the graphics package for it right now. Um, the wheels and tires are installed on the Ranger. The uh, front end, full disclosure, Sunday, uh, the four of us, uh, Jose, Matt, Casey, and I, did the front end installation uh, of the Stage 5 kit. You know what's the, the greatest part about that? Is you gave me a sawzall to Dude. take to your ranger. <laughs> you let, let me do it. Let you me, asked me to do it. Let me just tell you, and, dude. And I glad. Were you concerned? I was. Yes. You should. You been. were mean. You were. You were mean to my truck. There are marks on my truck now that I will never be able to get rid of. It is yes. scarred by you, sir. I, I scarred it. <laughs> I did. The uh, the first uh, the first it felt good. You do the felt nut good. the the top nut on the spindle to get it off, and and these guys just grab a sledgehammer and go whack yeah, and hit it. Take that, Ford. And then uh, the instructions. The instructions. Were, we didn't talk about that with Tyler, but the instructions were really good on on that kit. Um, it, the, the but there's a part where you have to remove these two crash bars. And it's just like, yeah, remove the crash bars. Like, it doesn't give you details, oh. right? And we, Matt T- started on one Ford side. Typical Ford trying to prepare you for crashing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Matt started on one side, and all I was on the other side. All I could hear him was like banging oh, and cutting and cursing at the truck. So I was and I him. fully believed. He was, he was I, breathing hard. I know. I fully believed that the whole driver door was going to be off the truck when I came on cause because Matt was pissed off at it. You were going to have speed holes for sure. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, nice Simpsons reference. Yep. Yes. Well, yeah. And then and then we get to the other side where I'm like, well, how do we get these uh, How do we get these bolts out? Casey's all, Matt just cut that plastic thing right off. I just, exactly. <laughs> what? Ex- well, I wasn't going to say that. 
Co- uh, Casey comes over. I'm like, he's all, what's the problem? I can't get this net out. Well, dude, it only goes up this far. And, then, you know, we cut it. You can't pull it through, whatever. And then he goes, well, just cut that plastic shit out of the way. <laughs> just cl- notch it there. It comes right out. All right, don't tell your brother I did that. <laughs> yeah, and man. then, and then, of course, on the other side, he he gave you the the clue, like, yeah, oh yeah, here yeah. But I Cody am was like, man, trying to, should I cut uh, pre- this or? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to I saw, protect. I saw your the look. Truck. I saw the look on Cody's face. Like, I don't, I don't even know what that plastic thing does, dude, but it's, it's not there anymore. It's the cover for the ECU of the truck. <laughs> it was, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was weighing it down, is what it was doing. <laughs> and I, I will say, what are these plastic bits all over the driveway? Uh, don't. Don't look at that. I will say having Casey it. here was a huge difference in the installation. Just because he does it every day, we were talking about how... Yeah, it's like seeing, uh, I don't know, like everything was just natural to him. And he just jumped in and it was like, oh my God, dude. Well, you're so sexy right now. I know. Like, you're just all, all He's nine your and brother. Half. You can't say that. Wait, all or nine I mean, and a half can, figures of him. It's weird. The... Uh, um, only if you make it weird. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. <laughs> but he, he pounced in there like a like a cat. Yeah, and, and just and, went well, to he was at home, it. dude. One he of the things I home, noticed. Yeah. One of the things I noticed, like when we did Jose's, it was everybody was on one side of the vehicle trying to figure out from front to back all of the things on that side of the vehicle. Then when you go to the other side of the vehicle, you have to start that process all over again. Casey was smart. He was like, I've got the 18 millimeter. I take that nut off. I'm going to need the 18 millimeter. He goes to the other side, takes that nut off. Yeah. So it's like, so, so now you're not hunting for the tool. You have the tool in your hand, make efficient use of it and do it on the other side. You know, you're going to have to do it. Yeah. But that part of that comes with confidence because like that you'll get it back together yes, the right yes, way. Because we're like, Keep that one intact. Just in just case. Just in case. We got to look just at in it. Case. But no, he he just, he was all over it. Like he just, I, mean, I was so glad that he was here. Yeah. Um, the, uh, uh, the, the the installation, I think the installation on the front end went really easy. No, uh, it, was, it was pretty simple. For um, when you think about the performance of a stage five kit with the, uh, with the, the coilovers. Remote, the remote reservoir. The remote reservoir shocks. Um, all of the stuff that came with that. And, you know, the, the four of us, not counting, if you don't count Casey, because as he does for this living, for a living, the three of us could have done this install. Uh, and we did it in the driveway on jack stands. And, um, you well, know, actually, we didn't do it on jack stands. You went and got some jack stands because we were doing it off the cheapest floor jacks you could buy from Harbor Freight. And I'm like, dude, come on, man. I mean, you guys are already notorious for cutting your hands and fingers off. Can't yeah, we just Casey. have some <laughs> like bit of safety, like jack stands? It's not like I'm asking for uh, you know, like a like a, a lift, a yeah. giant lift, or a hoist. I of went some and bought you damn damn jack stands. But Casey, at one point, Casey goes, "There's only four to- tools you need," and we're like, "You mean three and a half tools?" <laughs> <laughs> he's missing, he's a, missing a peaky half of his uh, peaky finger. Uh, so those three and a half tools came in handy. You're like, "Where's the other half of it?" <laughs> um, but yeah. You're right. So, so I don't know what happened to my jack stands. I think I let someone borrow them. We didn't have them when when he did Jose's lift. Well, I brought, bring it, yeah, yeah, I brought he had to bring his. So I ended up going to buy <laughs> two things. I went and bought jack stands. I bought a pneumatic die grinder, only to find that I had a pneumatic die grinder in my toolbox. Nice. Now uh, you got two. Now I got two. Uh, the um, and I think. All in all, the the most difficult part was removing those two crash bars, just because of the clearance. I mean, and that wasn't even that. And it, difficult. it wasn't that difficult. It was. Um, I I watched a video where someone instead of removing the whole crash bar, they just notched it out to clear the the tire for the the radius. Yeah. But we we just we just pulled them out. Um, the uh, I mean, it looks freaking amazing. The the transformation of that truck at before and after. Yeah, dude. I've looks- been. Oh, sorry. No, it looks awesome, man. Yeah, I've been telling you guys that I've, I've looked, I, I've loved the way the Ranger looks when I see it pull up at work. Sometimes yeah. I kind of quit the one, and it's yeah. like, dude, you get the tingles and jingles when it pulls up. Nah, but uh, <laughs> I like the way it looks because you've been hurt before. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, why I'm you've been uh, hurt by Ford before. Exactly. Well, after uh, after cruising around in this Ranger, I'm going to go to bed tonight with some. Uh, 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 unnatural thoughts about Jeremy and Tyler and just how oh, excited okay. I am. And, Whoa, dude. And I think I'm, they're and watching. T- ting- yeah, I'm going to have dude. tingles on the inside. We and- just got the yeah, sponsorship. I don't, I don't have my lift yet. Yeah. Can you just hold off on the, uh, you know, 
what? creepiness. Just hold off on creepy. Yeah, well, wait, I'll, wait for I'll, that on for Wednesday. I'll make it up to him. I'll make it up to him on the desert. We'll yeah. just. Uh, I'm a snuggler, guys. I'm a snuggler. Oh, what did we Lord. say earlier? Twenty bucks is twenty bucks. No access. Hey, now there's just gonna be pictures of us. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. don't let these guys Dude, near feel, our camp. That's gonna be the saying around uh, yeah. the campfire. Hey, twenty bucks is twenty, 20 bucks. bucks. <laughs> twenty bucks, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! Oh yeah, uh, I, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna go down to you further on that one, but uh, well, yeah, please. backdoor and chocolate thunder. <laughs> oh yeah, God, we the the conversation uh, you guys uh, just heard. You'll, you'll just hear with Jeremy and uh, Tyler about the, where the names for those obstacles came from. Is we crazy. still don't know where they came um, from. The, uh, the, the I mean, but research. We, we we should do some research for this show. Get on it, yeah. Jose. Jose, you're you don't have a nugget of knowledge there for uh, chocolate. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't. Well, you well, don't I, have. I know the uh, the race started with a dirty dirty dozen, which is thirteen people. Yeah, uh, that's all I know. All right, well, that's not enough. We got to do yeah, some sorry. research on that. Uh, so the the long and short of it is uh, Wednesday uh, afternoon. We're all heading out. We're going to caravan out to the uh, Johnson Valley King of the Hammers area. We're going to be staked up with the the Icon team at their Overland Experience. <laughs> Um, we know Syndicate's going to be out there. They've got some exciting stuff what coming up. What do we up. get for $10? Dollars? I, yeah, saw that. <laughs> I saw that. Uh, what, you got to ask. You can't afford it. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> do, do you, Rob, do you have a suspension system you want to give us? Uh, uh, the, uh, I don't think I want his suspension system. <laughs> uh, so, so it, it, you know, we're, we're uh, you know, Rory from Trigger Controller we talked to last week is going to be out there. Syndicate, Icon. Uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a big event. A lot of industry people are going to be out there. Um, one of the things we talked about with the Jeremy and Tyler, which was, uh, you know, if if you don't think King of the Hammers is for you, it's not your crowd. You're you're an overlander, not an off roader. You're not a rock crawler, whatever. Um, you know, d- throw that away I, and just and just come out. I'm sorry. I, I thought that was super interesting. It, it never had occurred to me, and maybe that's just because I'm dim witted or something. You know, uh, as as far as going to the hammers and feeling like uh, being intimidated by going out there, anybody, you know. I, but thinking about it, like, you know what? I guess so. I but, guess. But, but think maybe about if they're not a. W- hold on. Considering how huge an event it is, and you. You would it would draw that kind of interest from a, a layman or you know somebody that just overlands or it's kind of a minor uh, wheeler, but you, you have that interest, and yet you're somehow intimidated by it, and so you you know to you can't get enough friends to go with you or something. I don't think it's like that at all. I I would no. feel I wouldn't feel weird about going myself or just a couple buddies. You know, uh, I the first couple years I went by myself on a Friday. Uh, last year I hooked up with Bobby Licato and one of his buddies for the day yeah. and hung out. I mean, um, you, you know, and, and it, but think about think about yeah, the, but Bobby wouldn't have a problem. I, I don't no, I don't but, think. Uh, but I think since but since we're in the space, it's norm. Like it wouldn't. Yeah, it's not different, but. Um, you know, there are people out there that, that were assuming that everybody, just because you're off road, you know what King of the Hammers is, but yeah, that's true. just an assumption. True. Like, there's, I'm sure there's thousands of people that off road that don't know what King yeah, of the Hammers is. You know, good is. point, good point. And I think, I think a lot of it's background. I mean, Matt, you and I are in construction, you know, the, 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 the tatted up, uh, rock crawler guy. I, I hang out with those. Yeah. Dudes. Those are our people, <laughs> those, right? I yeah. work, I've been yeah, working not, with those guys. Not forever. everyone started rock crawling. Yeah. And, and think, think about like the people that we used to go wheeling with. Those are the people that other would intimidate other people, right? Cause they're out I of control. Those guys. I know, but they're the best people. Um, the, uh, but, but the event as a whole, I mean, it, Hammertown is is fantastic. The um, the Overland experience that Icon is sponsoring is going to be. I, I think that's going to be my favorite part of the whole thing. Uh, we're going to be participating in some of the events there. We're going to be able to work with Icon on. We talked about some group trail runs. Uh, you know, going out and visiting a bunch of the obstacles to check them out. I feel like that's going to be bigger than what they expect. <laughs> I, you know, it could be. I could be. You know, there. This is their first year doing I, it. I think they wanted us to like uh, lead a run or something like that. They we, wanted us to get people lost out in Johnson yes, Valley. They yes. wanted we, us to like get, end up in Fort Irwin and being arrested by MPs or something. That, did how you guys did we realize? get to Area 51? That was last <laughs> month. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. Exactly. I don't know if uh, hopefully you guys have a specific crew of people that you want to follow us around <laughs> and end up Area 51. I don't know. Who knows? You yeah, know, that, that's the Matt and Jose excursion. Under, off underground, Area 51. underground, Jose underground base in Dulce, uh, New Mexico. <laughs> Yeah. 
Do it, huh? Yeah, you do don't it. wait, huh? Did you listen to that that uh, that uh, that episode I that podcast I sent you guys about the uh, military base where they were doing the uh, n- uh, nuclear testing and stuff? I sent you. You, didn't send you me. don't you didn't listen to anything. That I did. one I know you didn't. Send. I sent you did not send. I would listen to it. Oh, yeah. I sent. I thought I sent it. That was, that that was your other I'll, two. I'll uh, go back and find it. Those are your other two uh, hosts, co-hosts of the no, show. No, no. What it, other it, podcasts do you it, have? It was. Uh, it was. I, I, I what do you say, do on Tuesdays? I want to say yeah. was, who I, comes in here on Tuesday. What do you guys talk about? This American Life, and they talked about the. You definitely didn't send that. The military base. Uh, in New Mexico, that uh, that was doing a bunch of uh, uh, scientific government stuff, and what they didn't an- that's every base. They what do they that, didn't dude. anticipate was that the uh, the radiation, the sa- the, the, the uh, scientists and all the people stuff, they started hooking up and having kids. Oh, that's right. And I, they, I have heard about that, dude. Because I sent it to you. No, you didn't. And and so there's a there's a couple hundred people in the world whose birth certificates just say. New Mexico, because <laughs> they couldn't disclose the birth, where the birth, it was. The birth certificate says yes. <laughs> <laughs> I certify yeah. they were born. <laughs> yes. So that, that so do it in your you, you guys are you guys are going to end up yes. out there in the middle of the desert someplace. Yeah. I will be do, going in circles. <laughs> I'm going in circles around the icon experience so I can see it and I know how to get to it. Uh, but I, I think what we'll do is we will probably have a uh, a group run from like base camp. Out to one of the obstacles, or out to a point of interest, um, in between. Slash X. That's actually that's kind of hard. I was going to say how that's how a, far is it? Yeah, I, mean, it's, I, it's, I don't I know that area. I think so. it's twenty five miles. Yeah, exactly. that'd be that'd be a, a handful like a, of hours like out there. That's like a three hour. Yeah, yeah. Trip. And I think oh no, it's more than that. No, think about it's uh, three hours one way. That's remember, what I'm saying. We, we were trying to do thirty miles or whatever, uh, Akatia Wells. What did we do? No, 10? I meant like, three hours, like one way. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it, and that's hour. that's pushing it. Yeah, yeah and that's hustling. With all the other stuff that Icon has scheduled for the for the event, you know, we, I want to I want to be close by or within contact. Do uh, you want to get lost with the trail chasers? <laughs> Meet us at Johnson Valley for King of the Hammers, and you can uh, you can experience you know what I experience every time we go out. And you know what? You can. We can I keep uh, doing it. I need, keep doing it. We need to find fun. out if the ranger can make U turns the way the Tacoma does. Dude, we're doomed if Should it I doesn't. Should I take the Tacoma out there instead of the? <gasps> oh, cruiser? dude! I, oh, no, we, I'm not, I'm not dude, gonna buy it. That over. We can I'm, make that happen. I'll put. I'll write the paperwork up. Done. Done. I don't have to buy done. it. I can just take what, it. What makes it you think drive. you can just take it? Test drive. He's got a yeah, test drive. I got to test drive it on the trail. He's driven it. No, no, on the trail. No, not on the trail. You got to let him do it now. Oh man. <laughs> nice. You're Done. Wa- you're, you're welcome to take it out oh. there. Yeah, he has to now. Why does he have to? I don't know. I got to show that it's better me. than the Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You shouldn't have said that because now he's going to be like, no, nah, I don't even want to know. Uh, <laughs> I don't even want to see how how the difference. Well, like we talked. Actually, I, I, not I, even I, Icon equipped yet. Well, yeah. look. It, it, this no, is, I can attest to the Ranger Okay, we saw it. You know, you rode in it. You know yeah, what that we Ranger saw it. and I rode in your Toyota yeah. on that track too. You uh, know what yeah. the Ranger was capable of with a stage two kit. Wow. This is a stage yeah. five kit. So yeah, you they, you know. They've they, wait, they've they've evolved like three levels in yes. in six months? Yes. Oh yeah. Dude. Oh my god. Dude, they don't mess around over there. They're they're mad scientists. They're shock scientists. They're shock scientists. Legit. Not- like like lab coats and and the whole thing. It's like that scene in Rocky Four, you know, when <laughs> go had, on when they had Drago, you know, the, training the engineering, and they're like shooting them up with yeah. uh, hey, but who vitamins, be, who, who be <laughs> vitamins, <laughs> who that's horse, uh, that's horse testosterone. Dude. That was, my, it, my was truck, right, it was right, it was right, horse tap. testosterone in it. <laughs> I don't shoot him 90s. up with uh, Mexican supplements. <laughs> I don't ride 97 in that Ranger. <laughs> in a pure yeah. horse testosterone. That's right. <laughs> and you know what? Who beat him? America? Rocky? He was also roided to the oh, gills. Oh, <laughs> they didn't show that. They didn't Speaking show of that which, part. how dare you? Speaking how of dare which. you talk about Rocky in such a manner? All he did was lift logs and got strong, all right? <laughs> Speaking of which, they moved production of the Tacoma to Mexico. They did. They did. Oh, that's why you got that, out of there. That Tacoma's being built in Mexico. Not that one. The, the, uh, no, not yours. Yours yeah. is no, the USA Tacoma. built. No, I know, but built the third Ford built American <laughs> Tough, third gen American Tough Ford. And what does that say about Ford? That the Tacoma is more USA than Ford, but it's not. It it is right now. 
<laughs> but but they're going to build it in Mexico. <laughs> hey, are we paused right now? Uh, two people say that we've been paused. Oh, it looks like the uh, video stopped. Let's uh, see what happened. Hold on. That's how it starts. You start talking about Dulce, New Mexico, dude. And then they start they're blocking in, your feet. Dude, they start listening in. You start blocking your feet. Hey, sleep well tonight. <laughs> Knowing that the, uh, the grades are coming. <laughs> the grades. The grades. Or the reptilians, you know. I hope for the greys, but if the yeah, reptilians come, if I had come, a choice, oh, you take the greys all day, dude. Yeah, reptilians. For sure. I don't even. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. You guys are talking about crazy alien stuff. While I reset the live video, you will. Uh, so we were saying, uh, we were, looks like we're back on the live stream. Uh, mm -hmm. We were saying that the going back to Jose taking the Tacoma out. I think we were just giggling a bunch. Well, I think I, I would love for the Tacoma to stay in the family. I would love to see somebody that Jose, we... Jose, you're being adopted, too. I would love oh, to see that somebody... I'll be a U.S. citizen. <laughs> <laughs> He's just doing it for green for, for yeah, papers. I just, I just need like a solid year of being under your name, and it will be all right. Uh, uh, Jose Sisson has a ring to it. I like it. <laughs> uh, are we still... I, I'm not getting any live feed yeah, on, neither am I. on the uh, thing. It looks, like, uh, it looks like it's live over there on oh, that wait, machine. There's, uh, well, there's two... Uh, Two live things on Instagram. Well, there's live crew. There should be. Uh, so, uh, there should be a uh, uh, one to the yeah, story. It's on. It's on. Okay. It's on. Right. Um, I would love for the. Uh, I would love to see that the Tacoma go to a good home, like someone we know. Uh, that truck is great. It's capable. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Uh, I would love to see someone uh, uh, get it and. And enjoy the hell out of it as much as I have. I right? was telling Letty, uh, I sent her a picture of the me like with the keys and driving, driving, the, <laughs> and I'm like, I shouldn't have driven the truck because now I want it even more. <laughs> oh, uh, we we we'll, we can come up and make it and figure something out. We'll figure something out. Twenty bucks is twenty bucks. <laughs> um, what about a trade? Uh, uh, trade and incentives or whatever. Well, I I, already, I have the perfect off road vehicle. What do I need his piece of crap for? <laughs> All of wow. a sudden, you know what? <laughs> yeah. You get a six, stage five. Six months ago, <laughs> yeah. it was now, like, I, I would, I love, you know, I love Jose's truck. All of a sudden, you get a stage five and you're better than a lot of people. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a blue oval. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he's excited about it. I am really excited about that truck. I, no, I, it, it, dude, I, the truck looks awesome. Right yeah, now. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I'm looking forward to. I, th I mean, I really think the next opportunity to take it wheeling is going to be hammers, right? Uh, I'm looking forward to getting it out there and seeing how it does when it's all when it's all geared up. I'm really glad we went real quick on Saturday. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, so it, okay, so let's discuss let's talk that. about that. Yeah. So so we knew we were going to do the install of the kit on Sunday, and Jose was like, "Hey, we need to get this thing on dirt before we do the install, so you have a baseline." And he was absolutely right. So we. As is normal, we, <laughs> we didn't hit Cleghorn until five o'clock in the late. evening. Yeah, the sun um, was. We all had stuff going on, and we got back. And uh, Pres uh, Tammy wasn't feeling good. I took Presley with me. You guys were by yourselves. We hit Cleghorn at five, and wheeled. Uh, we did a, the quick up and over, like the the main like road. The first, uh offshoot to yeah. the to the 18 or whatever the high, what's that high 138 uh, 130 no is it one yeah it is yeah. yeah so we did from the 15 to the 138 yeah. right over Claghorn. it's 15 miles of of dirt yeah and uh so the 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 fx4 the truck has the fx4 package and uh we aired down it had uh 31 inch dyna pro ats which are so. reasonable tires um the uh, reasonable tires. <laughs> no, uh, I mean the, no, no, they're, the, good, they're the good tires. tires are not the issue. No, um, what 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 we found or what I experienced was, and I saw because and, and, I was yeah, watching the truck. The the stock suspension on that FX4 is stiff, and it felt like I could hit a bump really hard without bottoming out. But the but then rebound, it, just kicks you, it kicks up in the back. Yeah, the rebound off of every single bump. Every single rut was like three times the force of the down of the down yeah. force. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It looked like a so post. What, post. what you're saying is, you buy that stock Ranger, you better put a aftermarket suspension on it. Yeah, you better hit up Icon. Uh, uh, no, I'm and, not. Even, uh, I'm not even kidding. If if you buy the stock Ranger with FX4 and you plan on doing any type of wheeling, I, I I saw the the rear end yeah. like uh, pogoing it, and it, it uh, kicked. Yes. Um, at one point, you, you know, if you're going over a uh, 
uh, a trench like at a 45 degree angle and you get your left front tire in and then yeah. all, and the back tire the back axle starts to twist up there was a point where the axle would twist to a certain point and I could feel it coming and all of a sudden it would spring and go boing and just push oh, you wow. over the other the rest of the way it doesn't flex as much either no the, the no back axle. not not right now with the current yeah. with the or not with the stock suspension but, I mean we, but we we had I'm sorry we had thought that clearly it's probably because of the uh, it has a, a good it, to, toe rating. It's got the most so toe rating. A, yeah. a rear, what, what is the towing capacity? 7,500 oh, or something okay. like wow, that. Wow, that's pretty good. So that's, it's, it's that's, a good like my full, that's like my full-size Chevy yeah, was. It's a, it's a, I think 1,500 pounds more than the, the other the other yeah. uh, uh, than the Than the uh, uh, Frontier. Uh, or the Tacoma. Uh, but I mean, yeah, was it, the Tacoma that high? Six? No, no the, the no, Tacoma was not. like 4,500 pounds or something. It's like five grand. Yeah, five grand. My Frontier is like 6,200. Yeah, yeah. The Tacoma, then the Frontier. Now the Ford is the the most. uh, Hmm. I I don't. uh, It's more than the Gladiator. I think. I think the Gladiator has the highest. No, the the Ranger has the highest. Um, but but anyhow, that the, that the, explains why probably because the uh, the rigidity, suspension, yeah, the suspension yeah. is set up to to tow. But what? yeah, but watching that truck wheel, um, yeah, it's definitely the the pogo effect yeah. is there. It, and it was and the and first, it doesn't flex. There was at, towards the back end when it was more. So the first half is windy and it was really, a lot of ruts. it was really rutted out yeah, this time. Really, right? really rutted. The second half of the of the show, I mean, of the of the trip was more washboardy stuff. And and a lot of back and forth, and I just I was swaying back and forth. And poor Presley, she was in the back seat, and her head was just banging from side. I didn't realize I put her neck pillow on, and I didn't realize she had taken it off. And all of a sudden, she says, "Daddy, my neck hurts." And I turn around, and she's bouncing back and forth between the two sides of the car seat. So I had to stop and put her neck pillow back on. Trying to uh, keep up with that frontier, blitz. <laughs> seriously, oh, dude, I, it Matt was, was hauling. You were you. <laughs> she Presley even said, "Uncle Matt's going too fast." No, no, no. That's the pace. That's our regular. Oh, I know pace. that is the regular. You're pace. just normally You're just in a in used. a in a Tacoma. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just used to driving a stock vehicle. Over, you know, at a at a madman's pace. Yeah. No, I totally agree. But but that was so. I mean, we did it. It was fun. It was. Uh, uh, I I got to experience it in stock form. Yeah, uh, that I think need, that's that needed critical. to happen. Yes. Yeah. It was exactly. absolutely 100. percent and and now you know in a week or so I'll be able to experience it with the full Icon kit and the 33 inch Nexons and the Icon alloys and the whole setup. Man, that whole setup looks so good. <laughs> it does. It looks great. Uh, it does. I can't it wait. Does look I can't great. wait till uh, we we put the shocks on Matt's truck, dude. Yeah, I, and we I, put those 33s on his truck. Dude, yeah, it's so gonna. Good. That's right. I can't wait for that either. <laughs> uh, but it, it really does change the the look of that Ranger from being. I don't know. Just not impressive. It, looked, not like, it looked, impressive. looked like a fleet. It looked like a fleet vehicle. Yes. And now it to, looks like a Ranger. Raptor. Now it looks like it's gonna. It can get some some shit done. You yeah. Know? Like it, no, it looks I, like I, a, I don't a disagree. Capable four uh, four wheeler with an with a aggressive stance that uh, that you know I would feel confident you know mashing mm-hmm. you know or or. Well, I know it can mash. So yeah, you know, that, we, we got to experience be, it. And and I'll be honest, like. I, so when this when the when the idea of getting a new truck came up, it was something that we had talked about. My wife and I had talked about, and it was you know my my first my first thought was Gen three Tacoma, right? That was just if I were to buy a new truck, it would have been a Gen three Tacoma. And then through the you know randomly looking at stuff, um, I the, the the Ranger caught my eye. The big pieces were it was for a comparably equipped Ranger, it was eight to ten thousand dollars less. It has uh, what I consider to be a better drivetrain, um, and you, you find find someone online that disagrees. Find a find any review that disagrees with the fact that that Ranger, that Turbo Four, and the Ranger and the Ten Speed is a better transmission than the the current iteration of the Tacoma. Um, I will I'd be willing to bet even many of the uh, current Tacoma owners oh, would yeah. agree with they that. They all want the four liter, the, the one you yes. got, the second yes. gen. They all it's all highly praised. Above Absolutely. The new one. Um, and, and just, I mean, there was a handful of things and, and a big part of it was being able to have something that like none of us know someone that's got a Ranger, right? So that's content that we can talk about because I want to see it. I want to see what, to Matt's point, I used to be the one that would, okay, well, I'll go first and see if we can make it up that hill. I'm still going to do that. And yes, I'm still going to, I'm still going to do it in the Ranger. Well, actually, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be at your level <laughs> yeah. shortly and I'll, I'll be the Guinea pig too, but yeah, well, you, you have a precedent already. Like, you know, you know what your Tacoma could do 
And so those expectations, oh. that's your expectation. Yeah. Now. The, the Tacoma was, I've always said it, point and shoot. I could look yeah. at something and go, yeah, hit, hit a couple buttons, put it in four low, and I was going to get to the top of that hill. Yeah. No concerns whatsoever. I'm going to approach the same thing with the Ranger. Break the, it. The difference right now you, is... You don't have armor. Armor, on the, on exactly. The, the Tacoma is fully armored up, and it has it has steel bumpers, front and back, and sliders. It's also it, heavier because of that, though. Yeah, but... And I and I want to try to keep the weight down, but the having the armor gives me the confidence to go, you know, so and I got sliders. a winch on the front, so I got to get sliders, bumpers, all that gear put on the on at the, the Ranger. very least a pair of sliders. Yeah, that's the most would probably be the first thing. So we, I've been I've been looking at aftermarket sliders, what that's going to cost. We've had some uh, conversation amongst the team about possibly fabricating our own. <laughs> um, so you know, well, as far as front and rear. I've gone everywhere you've gone. I have no, uh, almost no, no. everywhere. On but the no, devil's no, you, you butthole, have. you f***ing hit a big ass rock. God damn it, Jose! The what? what? The <laughs> devil's butthole? <laughs> I don't remember ever circling the devil's butthole. <laughs> where, where was that? How, I don't, how many, I've never how been many, to Hammett. I have many, never been to Hammett. How, how, how many beers, beers have you had, Jose? <laughs> um, the devil's drop off. Wherever we were at. <laughs> In Devil's Nether region. <laughs> Damn it. Where's, when, uh, where, where's my notes where I can write his edit points down? <laughs> that's, um, not, that's not bad. You don't have to edit anything. Yeah, this is all. No. He he said he said the F word again. Did no, you? I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not hear Wait, it. I, I said, guess you did. I heard the, Devil's I Butthole. Said, you devil's... said at the Devil's Butthole, you effing blah, blah, blah. I think he said effing, though. No, he didn't. No, he, I didn't. You cursed it in it. All right, these are good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, gotta, I, I don't. I don't disagree with all the front and rear bumpers. Don't disagree. The difference is, um, if I if I bumped into a rock with that big steel powder coated bumper, it th- there was no cosmetic damage. There was no. There was nothing I was worried about. You know, if I if I run into a, bu- a rock right now with my stock nicely painted bumper, I'm going to be bummed about it. Well, you had a. It's a steel bumper on that thing right now. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's it's, it's uh, not an off road. No, it's just not an off road bumper. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting some, either getting uh, aftermarket uh, uh, parts for the truck or building some of our own. No, let's build it. Let's do it. Then that way, uh, you know, when we're out wheeling or we're at events with Icon, we can say, "Yeah, we built those." Oh, I I would love that, but we yeah. we just. We we have to we have to we have to have a, some team conversations to figure we out how we're going to make team conversations this. yesterday. I know. I I am uh, I'm on the fence though. I'm, oh, I'm, all right. Well, whatever. <laughs> You're all talk. And then when it comes down to action, you don't pull the trigger <laughs> on, on, and, on Rangers. Action and, and money. Sh- yeah. Well, you know. Yeah, it's true. It is your money. Yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, I, I, I thought that was funny how you're not a man of action when you just pull the trigger and next thing you know. Yeah. Yeah. So my truck came in. This is <laughs> as of last week's episode. Yeah, uh, his truck had already been delivered to no. CarMax. I think it was on that Monday. You yes. Just yes. Picked it up yet. So, so uh, yeah. I, so it was it was already done. It was a done deal. No, no, no. I hadn't purchased it. No. I just. So oh, you put $200 towards it or whatever. You put a deposit I, No, no. And I didn't even put a deposit. So the way it works. They charge you to ship it down. Yes. You pay to ship it. So if you want to physically that see That means it. you started paying for it to me. That's like your first payment. Yeah, they got you. <laughs> they, yeah, that's right. That's a pre... Um, yeah. Yeah. A, so I, a pre-financing payment. The uh, No, because it doesn't go towards the financing. So the uh, uh, the truck was I in Fresno. The, the truck was in Fresno, so I paid to have it shipped down to a local CarMax so I could see it. But we we recorded the episode on Monday. And it was already we, happening. We, we, we I purchased it on Tuesday. Yeah, and then on Wednesday, you're like, okay, I got to go pick up my wheels, yeah. some tires, yeah. Yeah. suspension. That's like, how whoa, crazy. Whoa. Wait, that's, like, wait, that's, what? That's how crazy this week has, has been. I, I, got the, I picked up the truck on Tuesday. Wednesday, I was at Icon picking up suspension and wheels. Thursday, I was at Nexton picking up tires. Saturday, we're wheeling in Cleghorn. Sunday, we're doing the install. Monday, we're announcing the Icon uh, uh, Vehicle Dynamics sponsorship of the show. It's been a whirlwind of a handful of couple days. You know, I think that's uh, uh, thinking about it right now. Just it's kind of dawning on me uh, our our connection, our affiliation with Icon and Nexon it, Tires. Like that's it's two really giant a, a, jets, dude. a deadly combination of kick ass. You know, 
Uh, and I, I, I pride myself on sincerity, and I sincerely love the next tires, and I can't wait to, to romp uh, with with my Icon uh, suspension. Dude, if you love it's your truck awesome. now, just imagine. Yeah. No, I do. And uh, like I said, uh, w- during the interview earlier, which you guys have probably already heard, but uh, all no, I could hear think- it on Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, you know. This is being recorded, Jose. Oh, that's right. Uh, but you know, during the uh, the Icon event where we were at King's Ranch and we were running that course with all the different trucks, I, all I could think about was, I wish I was in my truck right now yeah. with this suspension yeah. because I would have more confidence and I'd, I'd you know, know where all the, like when the rear end brakes loose and how, how hard I could push it. I, I can't believe this is a thing. Like I, I can actually drive this hard in a production vehicle. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And now it, it's coming to fruition. That's amazing to me. I can't believe that this is uh, this is actually happening. Well, and you you talked about having sincerity, and I I, I go back to these partnerships with Nexon and uh, Icon. Um, you know, the, the the partnership with with Nexon grew organically through. Casey, who had the relationship with Paul and the shop and Don Alexander and, and all Jay. And it, you know, it was, we had a conversation with Paul at, at one of the events we were yeah, at. Yeah. And then it wasn't until I got in the invitation and physically got to drive on those yeah, tires saw, that I was like, yes, this is, of. this is awesome. And you know, the same thing happened with the icon stuff. Yeah. They were a big name and we knew of them and they were on the wish list. But when we got the chance to meet the team, collaborate with them, have a great time, experience the product. And then all of the subsequent uh, interactions we've had with them since nice it's, word. It's a, I know I'm, Subse- I've got, subsequent. that's like the second or second or third big word. You're, you're killing like it. Four you're, or five giant you're, you're words. You're on tonight. a scrabble. You're in the scrabble zone right now. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm starting like a, a triple new, letters, uh, uh, triple letter <laughs> score. <laughs> yeah. But all of the, all of the conversations we've had to them, it just kind of, it, it, it evolved organically to where we are 100% committed to and behind these products. I mean, we are putting our name on products that we 100% believe in. And, uh, and even before, even before the agreement was made with, with, uh, icon about their suspension coming on, you coming on and being sponsors. We, we put our, our, our name on those because we promoted them and we loved them. And we, you know, we were really I happy. bought a set. He, yeah, he <laughs> yeah, went out and purchased a set. I mean, all of those things I can't, I think just kind of, uh, uh, build I think I should I think Icon should give you like a couple of extra shirts that's what I think Jose should get at least a hat or something at least a hat (laughs) and a shirt Uh, (laughs) I don't don't know if that's part of the sponsorship we just get the suspension system oh okay well (laughs) you know just (laughs) I know just yeah just just take yours uh take another (laughs) give me a refund or something um so the uh I, I think um you know, going into going into this year, getting the opportunity to wheel the Ranger, um, get Matt getting his suspension worked up, Jose figuring out how to make it work so he can buy the Tacoma, um, or somebody. That's that, number one. I know. I know. Dude, I, I, I want to buy it and just put a stage nine. And kick the shit out of that. Fly so, dude, yeah, that would be everything. that would be the I just need to I, fly yes. over everything. So this would be the worst thing in the world. If no. if Jose bought the truck, no. put an icon kit on it, and I couldn't keep up with him in the <laughs> Ranger, and I would have to watch my truck <laughs> go by me every day. You, I would be oh. so bummed. Um, I'd sell it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Marked up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I do I do want someone in the family, someone that, that, that listens to the show to buy the truck uh, so that it's, it goes to a good home because it's, it's really a – it's a fantastic truck. That, it's, a, it's, that, a, it's a great truck. Whoever gets it, it's – it's, 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 got, it's done. Yeah. It's turnkey. It's got a, you know, 96,000 miles. It's low, on. it's low miles for what it, the year it has. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, the year it is – so I, I'll figure out where the where beard I'm, has. I, yeah. I knew what he meant. He's had like a beer, had like seventeen beers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that will be the truck will be listed soon. If you're interested, uh, Cody at trailchasers.net or hit me up on Instagram. But uh, I am looking forward to. I mean, we've got a handful of things we got to try to get done and ready to go before hammers. Uh, we've got to figure out what we're going to do from a recording perspective. We're going to have the remote recorder out there for sure. Um, well, I think we we have to come come away with with a ton of content. Yes, I think daytime content. Yes, and then there's nighttime content. Hammers after dark. After man. hammers <laughs> after dark is uh, 
That there's gotta be a pay, gonna there's gotta be that. a paywall for that. Yeah. Like at the very <laughs> least, yeah. we'll start start Patreon. Yeah, there's a Patreon for those. Uh, yeah, episodes. I don't I don't know how that's gonna go. No, I don't know either. That or there's a secret Ooh, uh, podcast. We're gonna have mean, to do we're gonna have to do a. Uh, um, so we haven't really talked about this much, but we have a shop on the website now. We, you can go to trailchasers.net and go to the shop, and you can purchase hats and shirts and stuff. And they're all stuff that we've designed, and we're still it's still early. We've only ordered a couple of them ourselves, so you know we're still trying to work on the quality control and stuff but uh i'm gonna have to that all that's up now for people to purchase things and uh, we're gonna have to make a hammers after dark shirt i wish <laughs> i wish oh, i wonder oh, if i could man. expedite it and make one tonight and then get it shipped out tomorrow and uh get it before hammers and it'd be just like <laughs> hammers after dark wow I, I think that's a that's a tight window i know i don't think it'll happen it, yeah it, it's Speaking big, of tight windows. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of tight windows, uh, it is it is late. It is uh, eight forty. We started recording at five, and uh, it's, Jeez, it's gonna be it's, it, been, a it's been a long night, heavy uh, episode. It's gonna it's gonna be a thick episode for sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I think uh, I, I I can I can only say thank you to those of you that listen to this show. Uh, for the support, for the interaction, for the community that you've allowed us to build. Uh, thank you to Matt and Jose for all of the effort that they put into this show. It, it, th- what, what this show is today is so far beyond what, what I ever thought Trail Chasers was going to be when I started the website in 2014. Um, and it's, it's just, it just makes me so happy to see what we have become um, not only as a as a show, but as a community, as a group of people that we genuinely enjoy hanging out with, and we hope, hope, hope that many of you will come out to Hammers and enjoy the the, the ride with us. Oh, definitely. That's you know what uh, we always talk about. You know the the campfire talk and uh, <laughs> the that kind of um, content or whatever the the unedited like you know good times. Well, that's a wide open door. Like you can go to King of Hammers, you know, and just find us. Yeah, and uh, mm-hmm. pitch your own tent or you know set up your own campsite, and let's have a good time. You know, just just uh, just get there. Yeah, and there will be more uh, in depth conversations about the Ranger. I want to do a full review after uh, having a, a couple thousand miles on it. Um, kind of walk through some of the reasons why I purchased. You think the you're going to be able to get a couple thousand miles on it? <laughs> Not after you helped put these suspension suspension on. I I think you started cutting things just so it had a, a jet yeah, to break I so that you could complain I did, about it. I did the best I could. And you 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 scuffed up my control arm with that sawzall. The lower one on the I, driver's I, side. I, I know. did. I'm gonna have to get in there and paint it so it. Nah, just leave it. It's fine. <laughs> it's Let a Ford. It. It's expected. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you're gonna start with that. Uh, Mark, you might, you, when does it stop? Uh, it will never stop because it's built for tough. No, but going back to the listeners, uh, uh, we're being asked like, do we, are we going to f- f- uh, fly a flag of some sort <laughs> so people can find us? Uh, well, I I don't. What, can we say where we're going to be? We're going to be Mark, we're going to be uh, hanging out with, with Icon with at the, the Icon. Overland Experience. Okay. Um, we will probably spend some time with Nexon. Um, the I don't believe that we will be able to to fly the uh, TC banner anywhere for uh, branding reasons. They're contractually uh, talking to Jeremy that this this is the icon thing, and they ah. they're they're the only ones that have been given ah. permission from the BLM and all that oh, stuff to okay. advertise. So it's, it's right. so it's Casey. Not, great point. Just put a uh, Matt's laser pointer. Just <laughs> yeah. so look for the oh, green the look green, for green lightsaber. Pointer. There's just um, nothing but like a hundred green lasers out there. Uh, I will I will try to figure out how to do that. Um, um, we can't do the banner across our the green room. Well, we so or the orange the, room, the green room. Green room. <laughs> The orange uh, I, room. I, I'm affiliated with another podcast. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the orange room will be set up at the Icon Semi. But so, we can't have the banner in the back no, of I'm, the orange. I'm, no, room? no. I was talking about at the Overland Experience. We can't. We can't advertise at the Overland Experience. Oh, okay. That's a separate. But while we're while we're in uh, Hammertown with the orange room at the uh, Icon Semi. We'll we'll have our banner up there. the The downside is I don't know how much time will actually be at yeah. the, at the orange room. You know, there's going to be a lot of activity going on and wheeling around. So that will be our our hub, our base, um, and we'll, but we will be bouncing in and out of there. Um, let me let us know if <laughs> what what's happening. I just, 
<laughs> I'm going to challenge Easy Deuce to a sword fight. <laughs> and bring your lasers, uh, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is going to be, guys, uh, I mean, you, you heard that you were at this point, you've heard the conversation with Jeremy and Tyler. Um, I am legitimately fearful for what the campfire talk is going to be like. I'm actually concerned for my survival. I don't know that you guys will make it out alive. Yeah, you know how I get. Like, if I start I running, know. oh, my God. I know. you get. We're going to lose our sponsor, dude. You're like, an abominable, you're like an abominable snowman at the top of the hill, and you fall. <laughs> it's a and snowball. You, and you I start mean, to I'm roll. A, I'm you, not a creature. You, well, you start off as oh, the abominable what? snowman, and then you roll into a I've snowball. Seen type. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it is um it is gonna be it's gonna be an epic weekend, and uh, I hope that we can get uh, a large consent contingency of people that that listen to this show to come out and join you know, us. We usually do get uh, a semi surprising amount of yeah. semi surprising yeah a surprising amount of people that whenever we announce an event or something that we're going to. Uh, you know, Omaha, like yeah, yeah. that was a thing, dude. <laughs> that was the thing. I, I felt like pointing back to next and like, that's right. Yeah. Dude, that's... These guys came out, uh, for us, you know? So, uh, well, you know, we, maybe we come up with a, uh, pass, a new password. Or something. Uh, well, I'll tell you what we will do is if you're going to, we be, have shirts and stuff. We do. We, uh, we're, we're short on certain sizes. We have, we have stickers. We have shirts. Do we have stickers? Yeah. I still have a bunch. Um, I'll look okay. to see if we need to order some more. Uh, but what, what, if you're going to be out there and you want to join us, let me know on Instagram, social media, email, whatever code word is backdoor. Uh, I will, (laughs) I will, uh, I will, I will, I will obstacle out there. It is. I will send you the uh, the coordinates for some of the radio channels that we typically end up on, and we'll, we'll oh, we got to have like multiple channels. Well, what what I'll do is I'll have think about the, that. There's, I'll have one of the radios. Yeah, Raider One. Yeah, <laughs> I'll have one of the. Ra- you go ahead and be on <laughs> Raider Run, Jose. <laughs> you know uh, you're Raider One. That's your call sign. Yeah. How dare you? No, <laughs> did, did we call him Stinkbox or something from last week? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Stinkbox. Well, I don't. Presley calls him Stinky Winky. Stinky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jose. Every time these guys come over, every Monday, uh, Presley calls Jose Silly Goose, and Matt is Stinky Winky. We're never quite sure who's. Which, oh no, it's consistent. Oh no, it's, I'm stinky winky. stinky winky, stinky winky, and silly goose. Hey, uh, when you start calling in about farts yeah. in your, uh, and you know, shitting, shitting your pants, <laughs> yeah, then that's how it happens. You got to know when you're exposing yourself. How does my four year old know that you're stinky winky? She just knows. She just uh, knows. You know, again, um, I am her uncle, so yeah, it's not like we'll, she ain't been around me. <laughs> but we'll have, I'll have like, we'll, we'll pick a channel, and I'll have one of the radios programmed just to to monitor that channel, just in case someone shows up. And then you know, in, in within the group, we can we can go back and forth between other channels as necessary. Um, so, yeah, I think we're gonna have to. Well, I don't know. We're we're gonna have to monitor because there's gonna be a lot of traffic. There oh, has yeah, yeah. to be a lot of traffic. I'm sure any one of the the FRS frequencies. I, I don't want to give up our free content. I don't want to give up our content for free. <laughs> you know, I want to make sure that people know what channel you're gonna be on. Otherwise, people are gonna be like. Who are these idiots? Who, yeah, who are these, what are these guys talking about? Talking about uh, uh, chocolate thunders and yeah. Uh, so we will, um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll come up with a. Vid. <laughs> we will. I don't know if any, I don't know if anybody caught that comment, but I thought it was hilarious. No, I did. <laughs> Uh, uh, sure as heck did. We uh, we'll come up with a way for you to get a hold of us. Uh, so hit us up if you're going to be out there, and we'll we'll put a, a radio frequency or the phone number. Or don't or, hang out with us. Yeah, you know the whole the whole episode we were talking about with Jeremy and Tyler is uh, you know talking about inclusion and you know come on out you know welcoming environment yeah whatever and then and then but in reality we're probably. We're probably pretty scary to some people, you know. Well, like, th- th- put it this way: if you're if you're gonna if you're thinking about running for president in the future, yeah, yeah, you you're not want, you don't want to be around. No, what, the, what, the, what I think things what, are different now, though. I think saying. yes. <laughs> I think what happens is they hear the way we talk to each other, like they're constantly ripping on each other, yeah. and they're like, "I don't want to be part of that." But we, oh it, no, there's people. I'll tell you right oh, now I know. on Instagram, they're like waiting, yes. they're chopping at the bit. <laughs> oh, because I'm not responding. I know. To the I know. Right now, Elon, they're gonna give it to me. Rob, in Casey, they're yes. gonna be. 
be all over us. I know. Where's, where's Rescue Con at, dude? <laughs> yeah, where's he's, Tim? Yeah, uh, what the hell are you doing tonight, Tim? No, dude, he's, he's not on. He's not oh, on. dude. I have, yeah, he hasn't made fun of me once tonight. I feel I feel uh, a hurt that you're not there. <laughs> it's not turkey claw. It's chicken claw. Just so <laughs> you know, dude. <laughs> uh, so if you want this kind of randomness uh, and you want it for four, three nights, uh God, four, uh, I think we're gonna just, die. Dude, we're gonna die. It's, Woo! Bring all. Oh, you know what we need to do is God. bring. Uh, bring. You guys need to bring some Rum? vitamin C. Oh, what? <laughs> no, you guys don't need to bring have, like. Don't they have those IV packs? <laughs> IV pack just, uh, to keep oh, you going on Friday and a phlebotomist. <laughs> <laughs> like just... I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't need what? training. I got you. you I got training. You. I think you will. <laughs> he will. I get you. Get I might. I might take you up on that. You give Jose a needle, he will poke you. I don't even doubt that. <laughs> Straight faced. Uh, there's a, <laughs> stay away from that. That's uh, too easy. All right. So the the, the backstory. <laughs> Icon, new sponsor of the show. The show is presented by by Nexon and Icon. Couldn't be happier. Think about that. I know. What? That's dumb that's crazy <laughs> i don't even i don't even know what happened i don't even know what happened but we we're gonna ride we're gonna ride this wave as long as we possibly can yeah Woo-hoo. saturday um, hey surf's up <laughs> yeah the uh the the world's best ford ranger is out in the driveway uh it's it's going oh it's basically a ford ranger raptor when you really that's look what i'm at, saying yeah, it went from fleet truck to ranger raptor yeah um yeah. and yeah. uh and we are going to be at king of hammers from uh february 5th to the 8th we got a lot of cool people coming out. We got, I know that we, I've already been. Well, hit. I don't know. Like if if I were to die on the Thursday night, you know, whatever. Am I still there? Like my body's well, there. I, well, I'm not bringing you home. Not till right. Saturday. You're going to be there. So You're, I'm there regardless. It's weekend at Bernie's. Not, yeah. <laughs> it's weekend at Bernie's. Yeah, we got to keep the show going. Dude. Yeah, dude. It's, it's going to be weekend at Bernie's. You know we, what? Weekend at Hammers. I'm going to permit that. Go ahead. Whatever you guys, whatever manner of puppetry you guys need to do to make it look like oh, I'm, I'm still alive. I have so many things in my... I'm just <laughs> like, I'm not even going to be... We're going to treat Matt like a ventriloquist. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. wow. This is... What? You know what? I did give you permission, I guess. <laughs> you sick bastard. What's wrong with you? I apologize to uh, our sponsors for as long as we have them. Oh, no, not anymore. Yeah, you already got your stuff. It's yeah. like, all right, well, screw you guys. So Thanks, okay, man. we got to get out. It's it's, yeah, it's we're tight. we're coming up on three hours of content. It's I like got to go through. Yeah, it's going to be hours, ridiculous. Dude. So, uh, look seriously, uh, we're humbled. We're appreciative. We're excited. This is going to be a great year, and I cannot wait for it. Please come out to Hammers and hang out with us for uh, for what's going to be an epic adventure. I, I I'm positive. You were looking for some insight. Yeah, is that rhetorical? I, yeah, <laughs> I I agree with you. Yes. <laughs> Concurred. <laughs> I'm Presley, and thank you for listening. Thank you to Max and Taye. Thank you to Icon. If you want to be on the show, call 951-394-DUKE. Thank you to Ryan Twingman with all of the music.